Well, hello there. It's back. The dreaded bright pink CD. Ton of games, classics one. Was a B boy. Yep. Over 400 games for your PC. But it's time for the gambling category, which is going to have poker and slots and crap like that. <laughs> So we should just go ahead and get right into it, right? Because I can see here that we have 52, 52 items in this category. So let's just start with the very top then. Yeah, hopefully everybody's been having a good week so far. Nothing catching fire or exploding or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> let's just get right to it. Five card stud poker. And it's in all caps for some reason out here. Does it do that for everything? No. I guess they just kind of upgraded slightly. They're like, ah, oh, it's normal up here, but it's in all caps by the time it gets down here. Test, test, one, two. Looking around, do we has, do we has issues we need to be made aware of? Question mark. Looking at chat window. Yeah, yeah, but that one is because of, um, um, that checkbox, uh, what's it called again? Properties. Uh, shut down source when not visible. So every time we switch scenes, you know, it's going to it's gonna restart itself. So, five card stud poker for Windows. Welcome to the wonderful world of five card stud poker. A new and exciting game everyone can learn, play, and win. It offers something five card stud poker. Wait. It offers something five card stud poker game. <laughs> I double check that, make sure I was not in a stroke or anything. <laughs> okay. To play, you first place a bet or ante up. Minimum $5 to max $100. Each hand is dealt five cards. The dealer receives four cards face down and one card face up. You look at your hand and have the option, if you choose to bet, exactly double your ante, and after all the players have decided, the dealer will reveal the remaining four. If your hand beats the dealer's hand, you will be paid even money on the ante and the bet wager if your hand is one pair or less. However, if your hand is higher than one pair, you will be paid an exciting bonus amount on your bet wager exciting bonus amounts. I bet it's not going to live up to those expectations they've set by putting that in all caps. Let's have to find out. 5cpoker.exe Execute. Whoop. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Oh, another one from Misadventures. We've seen that a lot. 995 plus postage and handling. What goes to say? This game permit two-handed or a two-player game and let you save your money. <laughs> I feel like I need some more coffee to be reading all this. It's like, <laughs> whatever, continue. Whoa. Okay, well, nice. Um, card stud pock. Yeah, signs of quality right here. Um, crazy psycho uh, card backs too. All right, what do we do? What do we do here? Ante up. Oh. Okay, player one. That's me. Uh, ace, two sixes, a nine, and a queen. Uh, oh, and I, in this poker, I don't get to like choose cards to throw away and get new ones. Huh? I just I decide whether I like the odds or not. Okay, um, okay, well that, that made a uh, two pair. Andy up again. Um, ace, two, three, seven, nine, and an eight. Eight. Uh, I don't know, bet. Lose. No, okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know why it has this picture here. Interesting rules. Yeah, I. I, I'm, I, I don't know that much about poker. I know the kind of poker where it's um, um, you get five cards and you choose how many cards you want to discard and get new cards. I don't really 
I'm not too familiar with any other versions of it, so. This is just the same thing that... Okay, decide if you want to play or fold. If you fold, the dealer takes your ante and your hand is finished. If you choose to play or bet, exactly double your ante. After all players have bet, the dealer's hand is revealed. Best hand wins. Okay, so this up here has nothing to do with me. I just look at what I have and decide whether or not I want to keep going or give up. 4, 5, jack, 10, 7. I don't even have anything, so fold. Dealer doesn't have anything either. Try one more time. Ooh. Pair of kings. He's a king. Uh, I'll go for it. All right. Okay. One pair... Uh, one pair kings beats one pair tens. Well, I think we get the gist of this. Um, it's different. <laughs> Suffer catalog. It might be disappointing if we looked at the Nis Adventures software catalog and saw stuff that wasn't included on the CD. Then we'd be like, ooh, I want to play that, but we can't. Then again, maybe the entire Nis Adventures catalog is included on the CD. Oh... Now we have AC Ducey, copyright 1996-1997, Lampron Software. This is the Windows version of the venerable AC Ducey card game, often called Red Dog or In Between. Requires 386 or higher, mouse or trackball, Windows 3.1 or higher, registration fee 1295. Developer Lampron Software. Okay, so it's not going to tell me anything about the game this time. It's just going to be like uh, system requirements. Oh, add.exe, probably short for AC Deep C. So we can either install it or we can just run it. We'll just run it. Thank you for trying AC Deep C. This program is shareware. You may evaluate it for 30 days. If you find this program entertaining and wish to continue using it, please register. Uh, yeah, 1295. Uh, just continue. Whoa. <laughs> okay. We got a little alien down here. We got the little red dog up there. Like a weird looking ruler with um, stuff on it. Got some game chips. ATM. Oh. ATM simulator. Hello, welcome to the House Marker Manager ATM. Your current savings balance is zero dollars. Your current marker debt is zero dollars. Press here to continue. Withdrawal deposit, marker payment, marker credit. Uh, marker credit? To borrow. Oh, okay, so we can... All right. Five, zero, zero, zero. And go. All right. Bankroll, ten, 10 grand, and we are now in debt with the casino. Always a good position to be in. <laughs> Transaction, no. Okay, that, that's kind of neat though, having a whole ATM, or like virtual ATM program to get your money. Uh, well, I would like to actually know what the rules are in this game just a little bit before I click and spend all of my money. Registration, evaluation, okay, registered cop. Registered version of the program removes all pester screens. What if I like pester screens, huh? You don't know me. Be like everybody else that had the nag screen on WinRAR for like the past 20 years. Okay, how how to play. AC Ducey is a popular casino game, often called Red Dog or In Between, in which the player bets that the third card flipped will be between the first two in value. Right? Seems simple enough. So play the player first places a bet and the dealer flips two cards. The player is then given the option to raise his bet and the third card is flipped. If the third card is in between the first two, the player wins. Okay, well that's that's simple. Let's just try it. Deal. Oh, minimum. Okay. Um, oh, okay. It tells me what the chips mean when I hover over them. Right, it, oh, oh, the maximum bet's $200. All right. There's my 200 Deal. Jack and King. Ooh. That's, that's tough. That is not 
like queen is like well i don't know jack I don't know whether it's inclusive or exclusive. Does it have to be a queen, like literally in between the two cards, or is it anywhere from jack to king? Well, what's the max that we can raise the bet? Let's just let's just be stupid here and throw all the money in. Okay, so two hundred to start with, an additional two hundred. Okay, let's go. Two. Well, there went four hundred bucks in a hurry. I'll try one more time. Five and four. Um, I don't know. I assume that it goes in either direction, right? I'll just press the button and see what happens. Oh, you have to bet more. Or, oh, okay. So I think what happened there is that if the... Uh, first card is higher than the second card. You just automatically lose. That's nice. Ace and eight. Okay, so just whatever. Let's just let's just try to blow through our money. Jack, I I won four hundred dollars. Oh, I guess it, I am confused by this. It's not. Maybe I need to read more of the help file after all. I guess if Ace is the highest card, then yet. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, clicking back on that got rid of whatever it was. If Ace is the highest card, then yeah, I guess that was a win. Payoff rules. Payoff is determined based on the spread, which is indicated by the red dog during play. The upper number is the spread, and the lower number is the payoff. 3 to 1 means 3 to 1, yeah. If the first two cards are consecutive, the hand is over and no money is lost. All right. Uh, if the first two cards are equal in value, a possible three of a kind, you can win 11 to 1 on a winning hand, but lose nothing on a losing hand. Uh, interesting. Uh, I don't know. We'll try one more time, but this feels weird and confusing. Nine and nine. Oh, okay. The possible three of a... Can I bet more? No? Okay. One, one more time. King and king. Ah, uh, again. Well, we get we get the idea. It's a strange, strange game. Do these work? Save and restore. Oh, didn't pop up and say that that feature requires the registered version. You can't can't do anything in the unregistered version. It took a while for it to decide it was ready to close that down. Okay. Oh, we got two different per. We have Ancient Ivory Windows 3.1 and Ancient Ivory Win95, and their descriptions actually look different from each other. Hmm. I guess we'll have to take a look at both of them then, just a quick look anyway, just to see if they're the same thing or if they're actually different. The first one, Windows 3.1 version, says Ancient Ivory is a centuries-old Caribbean dice game of strategy and luck. It features an intuitive interface, photographic quality, 256 color images, realist sound effects, not realistic, a competitive computer player, and background music. Ooh, Midas? Sounds good to me. Points are given for four of a kind, long straight, small straight, four of a kind, etc. Score in 12 categories, winner of SIA Best Entertainment Program of 1996 and 1997. Hmm. I don't know who SIA is, though. The option just play it without. Ooh, bonus points, readme.bat file instead of like a TXT. <laughs> Sounds like classical music. 
Five dice, single column. Oh, so that's... Display tip of the day. Return to ancient ivory, okay. Oh. Ivory, large, straight, small, straight, four of a kind, full house, sixes, fives, fours, threes, twos, ones, choice. This seems like Yahtzee. One, four, 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 and six. How do we decide what to throw away? We click on it? Yeah. Okay, I'll keep the fours. Four, 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 four. Okay. So I'm gonna put that in fours, because we got four of them. Wait, no. One, two, three, four. Could also score in four of a kind. I wonder if this works where if you have four sixes, it's more valuable than four fours. I'll put it in fours. Yeah, 16. 3, 3, 3, 2, and 6. Okay, get rid of those. Get rid of that. Oh! What? Okay, um... Wait, there's nothing on here for... It's Ivory Yahtzee. Okay. Oh, okay, nice. 50 points for that. Five. Okay, going for fives this time. Oh, still that's the best possible score for that. Okay, 25. 1, 2, 2, 6, 5. And keep the twos. I like the presentation on this. Oh, full, full house? I'll take it. 24, oh. Get rid of these and go for ones this time. I like the song it's playing now. Five, I did fives. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Large straight. Thirty points. I can easily see why this one won Game of the Year or whatever it said two years in a row. Oh, I still haven't turned in four of a kind yet. Uh, two, three. Go for that small straight next. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's another large straight. Go for small straight though. There it goes. Nice. Uh, go for sixes, I guess. Three sixes, and eh, not great. But I'll take it. Three, ooh. Just gonna get rid of the low stuff and... Okay, yeah, take this for my choice. of a kind or threes is all that's left. Oh boy. Take that to zero on that four of a kind. Three, 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 three. Oh. Almost the best possible score for threes. Okay, 218. Not bad. Let's see, we got, what do we have? We have restart game, new game. Oh, we have an option to undo. <laughs> That's nice. We can adjust the animation speed. Turn the music on and off. Turn the sound effects on and off. Options for scores. Okay, how much does this lovely thing cost? Um, Following screen, you may order ancient ivory. Fill in the form completely, and it will be printed for you. Uh, yeah, fourteen ninety-five. Six percent sales tax for uh, Pennsylvania residents. Three dollars for North America shipping and handling, or five dollars for overseas shipping and handling. Wonder if it's automatically checked. No, it doesn't even do that.
Oh. And you have to choose whether you want the Windows 3.1 or the Windows 95 version. So I used a radio button for this uh, Pennsylvania residence thing instead of a checkbox. So now that I've clicked it, I can't unclick it. Also, these are um, mutually exclusive. These aren't even compatible with each other. You can't be Pennsylvania resident and also overseas shipping at the same time. <laughs> oh boy. Well, error in dialogue. Lovely. Having played Five Dice Ivory, you may now feel ready for a greater level of challenge. When you feel proficient playing against the computer in single and double column yacht, then go on to the even greater challenge of Ten Dice Ivory. Once you've played the Ten Dice variations of the game, you may never want to play Five Dice Ivory again. The Five Dice game seems tame by comparison. But when you order Ancient Ivory, you receive all four game variations and a computer player for the single and double column five dice variations. Please press OK to continue. You may now order Ancient Ivory online and immediately download the full version. Visit our website at members.aol.com. True, true mark of professionalism right there. Um, yeah, to order and save shipping and handling costs. Yeah. Oh. And of course, there's the um, SW Reg number from CompuServe. Once you do 10 dice, you'll be chasing that dragon for the rest of your life. <laughs> What's going on, crack? Yeah. Yeah, once again, one more time. Members.aol.com. <laughs> and there's a quick peek at... Well, first, let's check the description, because it looked like it was different. Yeah. Ancient Ivory is a dice game where the object is to score the highest you can by rolling the dice, or a subset of the dice, a maximum number of rolls depending on the game variation and the level of difficulty, and placing a score in one of the 12 score categories each turn. The game is played with 1-4 to four players, or with one player playing against the computer for the 5 dice games. Oh... We can't just run this one, we have to actually install it. I'm not expecting any... Okay, installs directly to the root of the C drive. I never understood why that part took so long. Adding the shortcuts, it's like... Pops open the... Um, pops open the window for it. And then finally, there it is. Yep. On the fun side, though, the Windows 95 version would probably still run on modern versions of Windows, whereas the Windows 3.1 version is going to be 16-bit uh, and not going to run unless you get, like, an extra emulator or you stuff. Oh. All right, I'm just ending the stream. You can find Enigma Wave your fucking self. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in Future Rush. How are you doing today? Let's let's lag attack. Yeah, I saw the I saw the um it was golf stuff, wasn't it? Did I see well it's too late now. I'm pretty sure I saw golf. Your your hair was so blonde. Mm. Gonna have to record a new clip, huh? Um, yeah, that's right. And then you had the uh, Castlevania earlier tonight. How's it going? Let me press the button for lag attack. It's 1995, I know. First it was not actually Friday, and now it's 1995. It's going crazy. But yeah, let's welcome in everybody. We're back to back to the crazy bright pink CD again. This time working on the gambling category. Is it at least a Friday in 1995? I don't know. Let's let's check and see. I'm sure this will tell us. We'll click that. Oh yes, and the point's coming in for the hot peepsy. That's getting that's getting close. That's getting very close. <laughs> I'll have to put that thing out in the car and see. I, I'm thinking that that's probably going to have to be like um, once we reach the point value, um, 
next time a stream is scheduled, quote unquote, I will have to go out and put put the peepsy out in the car in advance so that way I can go out and get it and then have that be the first thing we do at the start of the stream. May 24, 1995, also Wednesday spooky. Oh, is it? Hang on. Can I? Is this safe? 95, apply. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, that's weird. Hey, I can't. Oh, no. You have to do it like this. You can't type in the number. One, two, and three. Apply. Into stage five. Your stream room turned blue. You can't know about this. Yeah. Yeah. This is funny, isn't it? We got Windows 95 wallpaper. And we also have something else, too. Where's the button? Where's the button? Just click on that, and I'm sure this is, I'm sure this is really, Y2K, oh no. <laughs> yeah, actually, we can see this firsthand, too, this clock. Uh, open this back up again. So 2023, this will actually has a limit to it, right? So I can keep going, I can keep going. I have to do it like this. Yep. So once it hits 2099, it becomes 1980. So that's that's the end of the um, that's the end of time. <laughs> or we just go back to 1980 again. One of those things. But uh, I'm sure that, that I'm sure that can't be healthy on the. Well, actually, it doesn't look that bad. I have a preview up. I was thinking that would probably kill the bits, but we probably have bits to spare. Oh yeah. Um, interesting thing to note, though. I updated to the new. Um, new version of OBS and for whatever reason when I try to open the settings window after putting in my custom modified version with the um, special potato mode code um, it crashes completely so we're running stock at the moment which means that if we do go into potato mode it's going to be even more potatoey than it typically is because they have bad potato mode code uh, we'll have to figure that out later so, so so far we've had two two card games, a weird version of poker and a game where it draws two cards and you have to guess whether the third card is going to be in between the values of the first two cards or not. And we had two games, which is basically just the same game, but Windows 3.1 version and Windows 95 version of what's it's it's Yahtzee. Um but apparently, if you pay for the full version, you get a version of it that you can play with 10 dice instead of only 5. So that's interesting. But now we have Animated Blackjack. is a fun, realistic blackjack game with great graphics and sound. You can play from 1 to 6 human or computer players. Watch the dealer deal and the fun expressions made by each player as they receive their cards. This game is addicting. Windows 3.x. Yeah, gambling typically is. I guess that's why simulated gambling can be helpful, because at least you're not spending real money on it. <laughs> Make your play risk against itself again. What's going on, donuts? <laughs> if we have the option to do CPU versus CPU, you know we're going we're gonna to hit that button. Oh. WinZip Self Extractor. Nice, nice icon. Okay, then. Um... Actually, I don't think we've seen too many of this sort of thing on this compilation. Okay, directory, Windows group. Yeah, let's go for it. Now, that is a very custom installer, too. I've not seen anything like that, quite like that before. Animated Blackjack. Uh, Ultisoft. <laughs> Can be boy count cards in this game. Hmm. Yeah, we have no way of knowing. They might actually shuffle, um, actually shuffle the entire deck after every single hand, for all we know. But if they don't, then it would certainly could be possible to count cards. Animated Blackjack is probably the most realistic blackjack game simulation available. Ooh, exciting. You can change the table rules to match those at practically any casino. Besides being fun, you can use the game to improve your blackjack skills, including card counting. Hey, there we go. It's an advertised feature. And to test new strategies. 
Animated Blackjack cost only $20. The registered version allows you to start with higher credits, $5,000, allows you to borrow unlimited credits, automatically saves your game and settings, lets you edit computer player strategies, and removes all the shareware messages from the program. The program is set up so we can give you a registration code over the phone, email, or fax, which will make the program instantly become registered and fully functioning. Just like Commander Data. Yeah, deep reference. Uh, if you order by postal mail, we can email the registration code to you upon receipt of your order or mail it to you if you don't use email. If you don't use <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny thought. <laughs> Somebody not, not using email. Uh, can you text it to me? <laughs> what was the first? Uh, it was like T9. No, T9 actually was like a later invention. What is the earliest phone to actually support like SMS? Oh well, let's run the program. Okay, so yeah, we're leaving out. So, oh, look at look at these. Oh my goodness, these character portraits, um, and they have very different styles from each other. Okay, so these are the options. Oh, and it's got bios, too. Character 1. An average player who bets near the table minimum doesn't make too many mistakes, but could be more aggressive. Character 2. A somewhat better than average player who makes moderate-sized bets. He is not very talkative and doesn't like being bothered by the other players. Uh-oh, Future Rush forgot to change category. Yeah, that's, um, that's the number one thing that happens on Twitch, isn't it? And then the number two thing is forgetting to end the stream after you've finished doing the raid. Players. Character three. Um, that hair. Like that, that, that kind of like reminds me of like uh, Howie Mandel before he got rid of his hair. But he's got like the um, Homer Simpson uh, growth going on here though on the beard and mustache area a poor player who bets way too much he also gets way too many of the complimentary drinks oh character number four a poor player who bets near the table minimums character five oh oh look at that he's got one of the little um like the cigars or whatever with the little plastic stick on the end of it a very good player who makes large bets. Don't expect him to make many mistakes. And he's got like that Jack Nicholson um, face going on here from like the cover of The Shining. Character 6. An average player who makes small to medium sized wagers. Character 7. She's a smart cookie. A better than average player who often bets large amounts. Character 8. An average player who makes small to medium-sized wagers. See, some of these are boring. I like the ones with weird flavor text in there better. Here's Johnny! Yeah. <laughs> okay, character 9. He thinks he's a good player, but he really is just average. Bets a moderate amount. Okay, well, I'm cool with the default stuff here. Human player. Sid Sirius. Harvey Hangover. Odetta Opera. Eddie the Edge. That's quite the nickname. And Pat Peoples. Hmm. I, I'm i the only people I can pat at the moment. Okay, there we go. Kind of rolls. Okay, doubling down, splitting pairs, insurance, payoffs, miscellaneous, and more miscellaneous. Yeah, let's use standard rules. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, this is the shareware version of Animated Blackjack. Your rules changes will not be implemented. Please register to get the complete version of Animated Blackjack. So can you position these players where you want in the dealing order? Hmm. Oops. I think that's probably what the... Oops. <laughs> that, that was an interesting shuffling sound. Oh, Future Resonance's Rabbit Pez Dispenser is now suddenly empty. You put raspberry flavor in it now. Hmm. Oh, this is my icon. Okay. Um, so I assume that by changing the names and... Well, actually, where's the thing? Can I go back to... Oh, okay. Can we... Hang on. New game. New... New... No. Okay. But, okay. New game. Okay. Computer. Only one human player is allowed. Yeah, I don't want... 
Oh, okay. All right, yeah, by clicking on the buttons, you can change the players. So we could all have... Oh, Dan Deerfield. So we could have multiple copies of the easy AI if we wanted to. Try to put this back to the defaults. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, we get to hear that shuffling again. Shh. Feels like you're peeling the tape off. The animation... Oh, okay. The... Oh. Special offer! We hope you're enjoying your evaluation of Animated Blackjack. The game is playable, but in the shareware version, we have withheld a few features that are in the complete registered version. Registration is only $20. Win your order. We will give you a code which will convert this to the registered version instantly. You will be able to save the current game if you wish. We can send you the software on a 3.5 inch diskette or a CD-ROM disc, or you can download it from our internet site at softsite.com slash ulti. Uh, I feel like that's a step up from members.aol.com, but maybe not a whole lot. And oh, this is actually a lot of features if one wanted to actually practice. Nice. That is good to know. Oh, card count. At the completion of the last hand, the card counts were as follows. Cards dealt, 4 of 208. High opt 1 system, running count minus 1, true count minus 0 0.3. High opt 2 system, running count minus 1, true count minus 0 0.3. Okay, that means something to somebody. Um, the animation on this also, is there a thing for that speed? Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. Because it kind of whizzed by a little bit quickly there when the actual game was running. Okay, so I have no idea what... I don't know, bet... Oh, you can only bet $5 per hand in the shareware version. All right, there's a... That, that was it already. You must bet $5 per hand in the share version. Okay, so it's already set for me. I'll just click on OK then. Oh, did a opera has like a name tag on. It's like she came straight here from like her airline job. Okay. Hint, you should double. Based on the current rule settings, you should double down on 9-11 when the dealer's up card is a 5. Double down? Okay. Pressed. Doubled. Oh no, it was Pat Peoples. See, that looks more like an airline uniform, but she could also be a grocery store employee, too, for all I know. Oof. I'm paying close enough attention to tell what's actually going on. Dealer busted? Well, that's got to be good, right? Hey! Okay, so everybody's making money today, huh? We're rich. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay, so the reaction animations are a bit... Uh, ranging from odd to disturbing. Um, <laughs> all right, order. How much is this again? $20. All right. No, well, it's a, it's a thing. And I got to nag us a couple more times. And we're out. <laughs> okay, oh boy. Now we got the same thing listed twice with two different um, file names. But the description is identical on both of these. Or is it? Top one's Windows 95, bottom one is Windows 3.x. Okay. So we can, we'll just look at the Windows 95 version of animated slots then.
Animated slots. A three-wheel, five-pay line slot machine. Features large slot wheels with animated slot symbols and lots of fun sound effects. This game includes free spin symbols and a mystery symbol. When you get the mystery symbol, you get to pick a replacement symbol and a prize. Animated slots also includes a Let It Ride Blackjack game, which lets you increase or lose your winnings from any winning spin. Windows 95. Oh, okay. Another, um, uh, another WinZip installer. Okay, so this is also from Ultimate Software. So the animated blackjack, and the animated slots. We might have already peeked at this one during a um, during bonus content. I don't know. Let's see. You can bet up to five coins per line, twenty-five overall, and they got their free spin. Animated slots cost only twenty dollars. When you register, you can increase the coin value up to five dollars, and bet up to one hundred and twenty-five dollars per spin. The maximum payoff is twenty-five thousand. When you register, all the shareware reminders and order screens will be removed, and you will be able to save games. Start with higher credits, borrow credits, and set the coin slash bet value. All right, good night, b boy. See you later. Oh, and there we go. All the symbols on the slots are animated. Uh, I'm gonna bet max. Oh, nothing. Got helicopters, horseback riders, fishermen, pilot. I like the goggles on and birds. Let's try to win something. Bonus pool. Bonus pool, bonus pool out. Ooh, is that okay? Uh, select one of the symbols below. Select one of the buttons above. You can increase the value of the bonus pool, which you won if you select correctly. Only one of the buttons above will increase the bonus pool to five times its current value. Uh, helicopter. Okay, I guess that was the right one. Oh, okay. Click the Let It Ride button to play. Sure. 15. Oh. I don't know. Eight. Eight. Oh, what's going on, Buddha? Thank you for peepsy points. Yep. So we're back to this thing again. Gambling category. This one's complicated because it's got... It's got a slot machine, but then it has a blackjack mini game in it for increasing your winnings. Dealer must hit on soft 17 blackjack pays two to one. Uh, I don't know if it's safe to hit. I'll stand. Player loses. Aw, dealer 17. Okay, well, there goes my money. So, yeah, weird looking animated slots. It takes a while for it to fill this up when I click on that button. Oh, we got we got helicopters. Oh man, Let It Ride is kind of my favorite negative EV table game activity. Uh, okay, we'll press the button again. 16, dealer has to hit. Player loses all. All right. I wonder how you avoid that then. Is there a different button you can pick to just skip that and keep the money. Oh yeah, I just hit OK. I'll try this one more time. 20? OK, I'm staying. Stand. Player wins! Wait, can we go... Oh, we can go multiple times. 12, hit. 16. Uh, stand. Hey, player wins again. Okay, I'm keeping that. Okay. Now let's look at the payoff chart. Okay, so three wilds is the best, followed by three fishermen, and three... What was the blue thing? Oh, the uh, bluebird. Okay. And three... Pilots, I'm assuming, because they were wearing like the little flight goggle things. Three helicopters, and then three, um, yeah, three horseback riders. 
I guess, uh, racehorses and jockeys. I think those would be the um, lowest paying option on there. But it actually be nice to see the reels, you know, know what the symbols are and know what the odds actually are of landing on anything. I guess, oh, auto spin. This is the shareware version of Animated Slots 95. In the registered version, you can use auto spin, which allows you to make the game keep spinning automatically. This was been in the times before um, auto hotkey or macros. And now I could just say, click this button automatically. <laughs> Option to turn animations on and off, but you paid twenty dollars for it. Why would you want to turn the animations off? Like background tiled bitmap or solid? Co oh, well, clearly it's be this color, right? Oh, lovely! It really gives it that uh, Visual Basic five bet amount: twenty-five cents, five dollars, one dollar, fifty cents, five cents. Yeah. Okay, so you can't actually change this in the shareware version. I mean, I guess maybe you could get like a post-it note and put it over the top of this and say like times 10 or whatever and just pretend that your $6.25 is act or actually, yeah, just, just cover up the dot. Now it's a $625 bet instead of $6.25. Borrow credits. Okay, interesting um, interface. So you choose if you want to borrow or pay back. See, the other thing from earlier had like an actual simulated ATM that you had to push buttons and stuff on in order to borrow money. You even spit out the ATM card when you were done. We'll not get into get into um, debt with the casino this time. Oh, music. Zach McCracken had an ATM machine and the lottery. Probably loaded that up once or twice, but never like tried to play through it all the way. That sounds like a puzzle though, where you have to like rig the lottery somehow and actually win it in order to complete the game, huh? And that suddenly reminds me of the mini game in Monkey Island 2, where you go down the island or not the island, and go down the alley, and then you had to do like the weird hand puzzle thing. Which is actually a much less complicated puzzle than you would think at first. Oh, I've heard this one before. <laughs> Just reminded you, you never played the new Monkey Island? I bought it. I've probably downloaded it too, but have not played it. Gotta find a good time to do that. Hmm. Okay, so an interesting selection of MIDI. You can choose your own MIDI files. Add. Interesting way of doing a playlist though. Checkboxes to turn them on and off. You may include up to eight MIDI files, which will be used as background music while you are playing the game. Cancel. In the registered version, your music choices will be saved. In the shareware version, the music choices will revert to original defaults each time you start the program. Boot also has one gallon. I'm just going to play it, but the expiration date came up on your temporary desk. Expiration date. Hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, interesting. Oh. It doesn't have a lose or a slot spin. What does this do? Let's turn them on too. Give us all the sounds. Bit max. Oh. Well, now we know what it sounds like to lose at a slot machine. I'll try one at the slow speed, too. <laughs> it doesn't animate any more s smoothly, just low. Oh, 
got a bonus though. Um, try this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll close that one down. Exit. So many windows left going. Oh yeah, that's right. We had the Windows 3.1 and the Windows 95 versions. Okay. Well, now now we have another combination, apparently. Blackjack slot machine. An exciting blackjack slot game for everyone to learn and play. Lens BJ slot machine offers a new way for the blackjack player and slot player from beginners to the high rollers to play blackjack. Select your bet and the number of card decks in use, and then the fun begins. Windows sound card VGA display. Execute. Path file access error. All right, then. Uh, copy. Copy, copy, copy. And I won't put that on. See Windows Desktop. Copy this subdirectory. Do it! It's probably trying to write to a file on the disk, which in that case was a CD, so obviously that wouldn't work. Run the exe file. There we go, that's better. This is the shareware version. You are permitted to evaluate it for 30 days. After this period, you are required to register. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we already saw one game from this person tonight. Yep, good old Nissan Ventures. Nissan Ventures. Yeah, see, the font size or something is wrong because this is getting cut off on both sides, even. Someone had a link to an Alibaba portable computer that claimed to run Win95. Uh, say, natively, that would be interesting, but you could pretty easily have a PC emulator on Raspberry Pi, I would imagine, or anything that anything that DOSBox runs on, because you can't actually have Windows 95 um, booting in DOSBox with the right setup. I'm just using PC EM because it seems to work better for my needs. Okay, so we got crazy card backs going on here. We got buttons, we got stuff. Let's play slash draw. All right, so um, how? <laughs> Uh, I guess we could bet on columns, rows, or diagonals. I don't know. So this is um, so we got eighteen and nineteen. Actually, yeah. Is there a limit? Can we just okay? So we can go up to ten. And do this on both of these. Yeah, I'll take it. Bet. It dinged at me. Oh, okay. So the bet button just puts bets on everything. Oh boy, this isn't gonna win very well, is it? Let's let's go. Excellent. Oh, there's that excellent clip again. <laughs> that was used in another Nissan Adventure game. Oh yes, there we go too. Uh co yeah, let's see, copy link. Be careful, put that in notepad. The hand 386. I can take a look at it later when we're not at risk of incurring the wrath of potato mode. Ding. I'm not sure how this actually functions. Where payout? One to one card count eighteen, two to one card count nineteen, three to one card count twenty, four to one card count twenty one, twenty five to one ace plus jack odd suit, two hundred fifty to one for blackjack. Blackjack equals ace plus jack same suit. Excellent. See, so okay, so it's actually more like you're betting on a pay line, and if this adds up to good. Um, Blackjack numbers, so you're not like you're not like trying to win against a dealer. You're just trying to. Okay, well that that's an interesting thing. How much is registration then? Quit. Do you really want to quit? Yes. Nine nineteen ninety five. Okay. <laughs> so your bet and the number of card decks. And, yeah. Okay. 
Ooh, blackjack bungle, kind of. I don't know. It doesn't really feel that much different than just like a normal slot machine where you um, place bets on the rows or columns that something good will come up in it. Win, shuffle, money. Oh. Flap. Blink. Be a situation too where some of these sound clips are so short that you go to play them and it gets cut off. Close that. Okay. Ah, another one where we have separate Windows 95 and Windows 3.1 versions. Okay, well, for most of the... Oh, actually, there's another one down there, too. If a lot of this is just duplicates, we might actually end up getting through this category a lot sooner than I expected we would. So we'll just look at the Windows 95 version of... Bonus Wheel Slots, version 1.1. Slot machine games, three slot machine games in one. Bonus sevens, bonus bars, and bonus fruit slots. Each has a bonus wheel which can pay up to $3,750. Seems like quite an arbitrary number. 256 color graphics and realistic sounds. Beautiful spinning animation. Okay, well, let's hope it lives up to the hype. Execute. Another one from Ultisoft, Central Point, Oregon. Another $20. Everything they've had so far has been $20. Uh, run. Uh, all right. Bitmax. One cherry pays two credits. Not particularly exciting. Spin speed, sounds. Bar oh yeah, it's got the same interface for borrowing or paying back. Bit amounts, which probably won't let me change. Yep. Nope, you gotta spend money for that. Oh, okay, right. Change game. So this was bonus fruit, put on bonus bars. Same thing, different coat of paint. It also seems to be harder to win anything. Because with the fruit, the cherries gave you at least a little bit something back, but this one, let's pay off chart for this one. Uh, oh wait, any bar? Yeah, so this one you gotta get three of something. Imagine you sending your credit card info to pay for the game. And it hits you for the virtual losses. Hmm. Be a good reason not to plug your telephone line into the modem on your computer. You can't phone home to tell them you spent all your life savings. Bonus sevens. Same thing, but with sevens. Okay, red, white, and blue sevens. And also the triple bar. I feel like these, um, what's, I can't remember the name of it. There's a very specific brand of like old school slot, like before video um, slots that I remember seeing with the big wheels or reels spinning. And they had like a whole line of these that um, kind of resembled this because they were very, very basic. Free CD. Get our latest CD, which contains the shareware versions of at least, at least, <laughs> so it could be more, 16 of our programs. The CD is free with any order. If you are not ordering right now but still want the CD, you can get it for just a $2 shipping charge, $4 outside the U.S. Uh, the CD itself is free, but that shipping will get you. And, and actually, this would have been like way before, well, I don't know, maybe not. It's like CD burners remember about when those started to really pick up would they send you a regular cd or did they actually get these pressed 
If you don't have a CD-ROM drive, we can send two diskettes with at least 10 of our most popular programs. All right, we'll close that window and move on. Caribbean Stud Poker is the Windows version of this popular casino card game. 386 or higher, mouse or trackball, Windows 95. Another one we got to install. Just extra steps to go through. It's like, whoa, the installer crashed. Invalid page fault in module wattle95.dll. Huh, is that installed enough to actually do something or? I didn't clean up the start menu or anything. I usually do that. I kind of forgot to today. I guess I could do it real quick right now. Open programs. Delete everything except for the exclamation point. See, I put the actual start menu in the exclamation point. So that way anything outside of the exclamation point, I can just delete it and be ready to go. I'll try installing this one more time. Program files, Lampron, contribute, contribute, con Caribbean stud poker. Maybe that's too long. Let's just. Oh, uh, repeat rate's too low. Let's just delete some of that. Yeah, just like that. Yes, create it. Nope, still crashed. Okay, let's go looking in program files and see if we put anything in there. Empty. Well, I guess we don't get to look at that one. <laughs> okay, um, on to the next one. Cherry Delight Video Slots. So, Windows 3.1 and Windows 95 versions. A slot machine game for Windows 95. This isn't your grandmother's slot machine. This is a nine-wheel video slot machine with eight pay lines. Eight! <laughs> also has bonus spins and a progressive bonus pool. See the beautiful graphics and animation. Requires VB40032.dll not in zip file. Hmm. Will it run? Yeah, still runs, no problem. No stud for you. Oh, bookie.exe. Yeah. Okay, another one from... What is this one from? From Ultisoft. Another $20. I, mean, I put you in a hole pretty quickly if you just wanted to... But wait, 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 wait. What's this? They have a special offer. Ultimate Software has other popular slot machine games. Besides this Cherry Delight slot game, you will also enjoy Lucky Stars and Double Dynamite video slots. You can buy any one of our slot machine games for only $20, any two for $30, or all three for $35. $25 savings off the price of buying all three separately. What a bargain. Register there. Okay. There we go. Ooh, scrolling text. <laughs> now that's a sign of the 90s for you. When we had the marquee HTML tag that would do the same thing in your, on your website. The registered version contains the complete, fully functional version of the program. Registration is only $20, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's let spin. Bargain is a funny word for larceny. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tick, 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 tick. Ooh, you're winning. Okay, so I won for having... Um, it's interesting how they give you this little screen... Like they thought people would have trouble um, understanding the and reading the pay lines. So $8 total winning. Double? Oh, this is the shareware version. Registered version includes a high-low card game that allows you to double or lose your winnings. So that means that the shareware version is actually doing me a favor, huh? No temptation. Okay, $32. I'm 
What's the absolute fastest you can run out of money? Hundred bucks. Ooh. Alright, because it landed on that, it's got the seven free spins. Uh-oh. Does that stack up? Is that going to be another seven free spins on top of the... Yeah, ten. We might be trapped. Or maybe not. Okay, no, we did it. We escaped. <laughs> oh, interesting. Bank borrow probably won't let me do that. Yep, only registered view viewer viewers. Only registered users can borrow credits. Oh well. Nice, nice flickering in the, with the menus. <laughs> this is the most unrealistic slot machine you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like. Um, it's the kind of thing that can only exist in video form because there's no way the reels would like the reels would be like overlapping each other in physical space in order to have the have them be that close together. Oh, I'm winning. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> 478 bucks. We'll just take the money and run. Pay payout charts. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There's the there's all the stuff. Bonus chart. Each. Triple seven pays double the wager. Not right. Order, order this or any Ultisoft product and receive a free seat. Yeah, we read that already in the other thing. Okay. All right. Now we have Cherry Fever version 2.01S. That one from Lampron Software. Cherry Fever is a classic three barrel. Three, three barrel? Three barrel slot machine requires 386 or higher, mouse or trackball, Windows 9 or Windows 95, Windows 3.1 or higher. Sounds good to me. Nice, we can run it without having to install it first. 1295 for this one. So kind of good if you are on a budget, go for this one instead of the $20 options. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Can't close on like a uh, bit max. Bit, bit of crunch on those waves there, <laughs> just a bit. So we got the spin button, we got the bet max button. So if we want to actually like pull this, hmm, okay. Well now it's working. When I clicked on it earlier, it didn't do anything. It's actually kind of lame. There's like literally no difference between clicking on the button or clicking on the handle. Like, see, I'd want it to be like um, click on it and then drag the mouse button down. That would be a nice, uh, nice detail for their uh, simulation there. So we have payoff over here, stuff over there. This actually kind of resembles like the old um, uh, slot that you could get from. Uh, Radio Shack, they had one that had these little paper belts that spun round and round and round. And that was how they did their reels. That one was interesting, though, because you'd pull the handle and it would start spinning. And you had three buttons that you'd press to stop each of the um, reels one by one. Oh, wait, there's an insert coin option. Hmm. Is that the same thing as this? Oh, okay. So you got redundancy there too, apparently, because you can you can bet with this, or you can drop. Oh. Let's 
second. I'm getting confused by... Okay, I just had stuff going weird over here. Yeah, so lots of redundancy on this one. You click the spin button or click on the handle, click on the bet button or click on the thing here. So you're like... And your coin's resetting back to zero. I don't know, that's kind of weird. ATM. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, same um, same company as the game from earlier. So it's got the whole um, ATM for putting yourself into debt with the casino. It's going to do a marker credit. Available credit, $9,918. Gimme. 9918. Take our cash. And then we are done. Would you like to bring up transaction? No. Get our card. Okay, perfect. Bank roll. Ten thousand dollars. See, I like that level of detail though. Little ATM. Maybe like a um hack the bank simulation too, though that'd be kind of funny. Okay, we'll close all that. Oh, here we go. Craps. With the exclamation point. So you're yelling at craps is as simple as can be. Everything is point and click. A sound card will enhance this well-known dice game. This version supports one or two players and is fully functional. Visual basic runtime required. Shareware, $10 plus shipping. Ron Parker, CT Software. At AOL.com, email address. Okay, this program is shareware and as such may be used freely for a period of 30 days. If after the 30 day period expires you find this nifty little game enjoyable and plan to continue using it, you are required to register the program. Craps. The fun game with the crappy name. Yeah, you gotta wonder. There's probably etymology somewhere online that would explain how how it got to be called that. Other uh, kind of like the, the theory that pops into my head that first person to play it through it, lost, and they just yelled, crap. Tried it again, lost again, crap. Tried it again, threw it again, lost again, crap. <laughs> so they just named it craps. <laughs> it's probably not, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. And by supporting the shareware concept, you are helping to ensure its continuation, which I think you will agree will benefit us all. If you wish to register the program, please consult register in the program's help file. Okay. Just try it out. Ah, against the house or against each other? All right, five. Enigma and play. An error occurred while writing name. <laughs> that was perfect though because of the name of it. Craps, it says up in the error. Let's see, all error dialogues just need to say craps in the title bar. <laughs> Huh, it still works though. Okay, um. Wager. Pass, pass. Enigma, what? Oh, okay. Play the numbers. Okay, so that's how you, that's how you bet, huh? So 6 to 5, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, 6 to 5, 3 to 2, 2 to 1. Oh, okay, um. Alright, so that's the payoff. So 4, 5, 6, 8. Nine or ten. Oh, or the hard way. I see. Isn't there something like to do with like seven and eleven? Snake eyes, thirty-four. So you actually can bet on snake eyes. I thought that was where the house always wins if it lands on that. Just bet pass. Uh, where is that at? Don't pass. Oh, okay. So that turns the thing on and off. Um, I have no idea what's going on here. $100. Uh, whatever. Let's just roll. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's betting pass or don't pass. The only thing I know about passing is do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Um... So let me put money in any of these, or how does that? It's not doing anything. 
other than changing it to say zero. Oh, that's the that's the other player that is not in the game right now. I got it. Okay, so now I want to roll another five and not a seven or an eleven. Well, I also have like five dollars on these two. Let's just put five dollars on everything. We're gonna lose lose a crap ton of money. But hey, crap ton of money on craps. There we go. Roll. So that is a eight nine. That was a nine. Nine a winner. Right. Put five on it over there. Uh, other than having a confusing interface, I guess it gets the job done. How much is actually? What do we have? We have new game, load game, save game, sound. Okay, undo. Oh, is it too late to undo though? After you do a roll, is that just undo your last bet? Okay, it just opens the thing where you can um, change your player settings. How much is registration? Doesn't say here. Register. Username and registration number. Reg info. Okay. Okay. Ten dollars. If you'd like a copy of the program on diskette, there's an additional two dollars shipping and handling charge. You know, crap's gonna be a little confusing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then I also remember. I remember they had a bit with them playing that in Star Trek: Next Generation. Um, it's like the episode where they beamed down to a planet and got stuck in some weird casino. And then Data had to, like, somehow rig the dice so that they could win the game. I don't know. For some reason, I always found this to be an enjoyable episode to watch for some reason. Maybe just because it was kind of like a holodeck malfunction episode for me, even though it didn't take place on the holodeck. Buddha promises, though. If I hear a bunch of people yelling and being exciting in a casino late night, 100% craps table. People get amped up. Yeah. Uh, I know that that's... That, that, other than poker, that seems to be like one of the most represented uh, cas casino games in media. I think it was involved... Was it involved in Rain Man as well? I cannot remember. Okay, well, we'll back out. Back to another double dynamite video slots. And that's a double, double the double, so a quadruple. And now we just have, um, so we have the Windows 95 version and the Windows 3.1 version, so we're just going to look at Windows 95. A slot machine game for Windows. This isn't your grandmother's slot machine. This is a nine wheel. Oh, okay, it's another one from the same developer as the first one, huh? Also has bonus spins, wildcard symbol, and a progressive bonus pull. So not progressive, it's a progressive. That means it's in favor of aggressive. <laughs> See the beautiful graphics and animation for yourself. All right, let's go. Casinos hate poker. It's the least profitable thing on the casino floor. And they measure it by profit to square foot. Slot machines kill it in profit per square foot. Yeah. I know they have uh, they have laws on exactly what the payout has to be on those, and so you got it dialed in to the legal um, minimum. Then you're going to know exactly how much it's going to bring in. Uh, another twenty dollar for registration. Is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one they make. So their user interface they use. Um, um, <laughs> they use a text um, <laughs> text field and not mark it as read only instead of just using a label. Um, boobies! There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> okay. Dynamite. Also planets. Also smiley faces. That is a stock. Actually, all that's probably stock clip art from somewhere. Don't walk, Canada, dynamite, stop signs. These are probably like stock icons that come with the programming software. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the it's basically the same as the other game, just with different art in it. We'll do that thing where we get trapped in the winning. Well, it's weird. They mandate the payout odds, but not what kind of a time frame is required to reach those odds. I, how many spins does it take to even approach that distribution? That's how they have been really tweaking it in online slots. Aha. Bonk. Well, let's see. I mean, if you have one really, 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 really big jackpot, um, it could take a long time before they have enough come in to be like, okay, it's time. It's one of the. It's due for one of those. Then again, I don't think they're supposed to program the stuff to the gambler's fallacy. I think that the payout odds is supposed to be entirely dictated based upon like the actual, like what pictures are on the wheels and what the probability of each payout is um, times whatever the payout is for each one. Oh, let's see if they have bet amount digit color. Oh, which digits are we talking about here? Blues. Okay, so you can have your own custom color for the uh, digits up, but not this one. Coin value. Because coin value is special, you can't change it. Pay lines on or off. Okay, so you can have that clean look. Banner. This <laughs> is the shareware version. Only registered users can turn the banner on or off. Well, what would the banner even have on it in the registered version? Just say registered version, thank you. I feel like you're back in discrete math class. <laughs> yeah. Oh, banner text? I see. Okay. So if you've registered, you can customize your banner and put something else on it instead. Spin speed and sound. Same crappy drop-down menu for choosing how much you want to borrow. Auto spin, which also won't let you do either in the um, shareware version. Manual. Ah, oh, they got a help file. Ooh, they did some custom stuff with this one, huh? Look, the scrolling bits down here, and it's got this bit up here that stays static. I'm not sure how you do something like that in old school help, because this is not like HTML um, help, so it's not like they got an iframe down here for this. Actually, it was RTF files. That's what the original help was made from. So you have like one RTF file per help topic, and then you had some weird format for inserting hyperlinks to actually get it to switch between them. Again, with the offer for them sending a free CD-ROM with the shareware version. Double wild slots. Again, double the double, probably from the same... Same developer. Just remember Apple Hyperdex. Ah, yes, HyperCard. Uh, I know that Mist was supposed to be HyperCard, wasn't it? I want to see like the original version of that, because I feel like that would be either really interesting or I don't know. I'm still just showing JPEGs either way. It's fun. Oh, okay, three wheel slot game that will entertain for hours. Try to hit the big jackpot by hitting three shamrocks. Ah, yes, and thank you, Shadow, for bringing me one step closer to drinking hot soda. Eight. <laughs> eight. Yeah. Is there any eights in this one? I'll keep my eyes out. Hit three shamrocks on the pay line. Don't fear, though. You can still make a good payoff even if they're not on the pay line, really. Okay. Enjoy the fast-paced action with nice graphics and sound. See so, yeah, just how nice this really is. Another uh, wind zip. Okay. Fifteen dollar registration on this one, also from Ultisoft. Double wild slots cost only. Oh, they finally fixed that. Uh, for this version, it's read-only, so I can't like fix their typo and say double wild slots cost only $15. Oh, well. Oh. Wait, wait, what? Hold on. Bet two. Spin. 
each shamrock on the screen returns the current bet. Okay. This doesn't even look like reels. It's just like um, images flying through the cyan void. Uh, okay. Hands are off. It's still going. I don't know if I landed on something to cause an auto spin or if, like, let's see if I click on bet two three times. Okay, so I guess if you just click on this, it just queues up multiples. <laughs> WTF, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no lose. Okay, let's turn on the lose sound and listen to that. Okay, same one. What, do you just get multiple spins out of it or what? It's bet one. you're not actually like betting multiple coins on a single spin betting two just means it spins twice i don't know and click on this twice let's see if we get four spins one two no well, okay then this one is just weird or maybe that's what it means my double or maybe not it's just weird and confusing Possibly broken, I don't know. Double fail. Wow. And they want fifteen dollar. On to the next one. Which Okay, so we did double dynamite and double wild. Fun poc. Fun poc ninety-five. Ooh, trademark. Video poker simulator. 192 machines, six games, each with its own database. Double up, progressive jackpot, eight denominations, pay tables, casino mode, get new cash game, sound, logging of wins, losses, types of wins, streaks, and more. Available on CompuServe, Sufferage. Unable to open palette. Hmm. Okay, uh, copy to hard drive. If that doesn't work, I might have to change it to 256 color mood. Because I don't know if that's what it actually means its complaint is or what. No, okay, I was trying to open a file off the CD, I guess. Buddha wants the one that prints the gambling losses for, for your taxes. <laughs> Oh, that would be convenient, wouldn't it, huh? It's like, because, uh, yeah, if you're a professional gambler, then your losses are a uh, business expense. So we can try it out for 15 days. Shower version has 32 machines. Professional version, 192 machines. Six games is $20 plus shipping. Ooh, credit card from Albert's Ambry or North Star Solutions. Available on CompuServe. Check or money order. Okay, the Soft Game Company of Vermont. High quality, bug free, well tested, lifelong enjoyment. Okay, game over, yeah. That. Uh, How much are we. Okay, so this cycles through different options. Okay, coin amount, there we go. I saw the, the uh, pay table changing with that, so it's five. Five coins maximum, let's do it. Go cards. Okay, two. Null hand. <laughs> null. Got any null pointers in here? No, surely. Surely we won't because they said it was well tested. How does this work? So we do this. We'll keep the twos. Uh, draw cards. Yep. Game over. Two, three, five, seven, seven. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. So three of a kind. 
375 payout. Ace, two, seven, seven, queen. Mm. Keep the high cards. Okay, ace, high pair. Ace, ten, seven, four, eight. Let's keep the eight, just because. Ah, game over. Okay, how do we... Okay, choose machine. Okay. Nickel, dollar, dime, five dollar, quarter, ten dollar, fifty cent, hundred dollar? Special double up progressive? Preferences, general sounds, flip card sounds, casino. Huh, so that changes the, um, changes the thing. Uh, insert, just go catch it. Right. None of these buttons are doing anything. Do I not have any money? I don't have enough money, probably. Whatever, we'll play it, nickel. Okay. Well, this is kind of redundant as well. So I guess this is kind of making it mimic like actual video poker machines where they had like the physical buttons on it, but you can still click on the actual cards to turn them over as well. So it's kind of, uh, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It always weirds me out when stuff has like redundancy in it where it's like more ways you have of doing something more complicated it is, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep the queen, I guess, and get rid of everything else. Game over. Alright, so what did this thing say? Where's... wait, help owner? Oh, this copy is registered to your name here, your address here, your address here, your country here. Oh, real machines are like that, the touch screen and the buttons? Hmm. I mean, I guess back in the day, they wouldn't have had the touch screen part to it. It would have been just the buttons and then the technology improved. It's interesting then if it will. I don't know. Screen, you have to like reach all the way up to touch. So the buttons might kind of be less tiring on the arms and lead to you spending more time giving them all your money. That's what preferences and other stuff. So is that really like the only thing like that's how they're that's how they're counting these machines here because this is just like um <laughs> if changing the money amount is like the only difference that's kind of what's in the contents video poker tips menus the mouse buttons double up options progressive option general preferences choosing machine the statistics getting more cash so depends they build them into upright machines as well as countertops at barcia yeah, that wouldn't be just so bad actually be careful though we don't want to um, like imagine the, this part of your hand like hitting something you don't want to but then again they, they probably account for that getting more cash what do you do selecting this option brings up a box with squares numbered 1 to 20 there are random amounts of money under each one simply pick a square and win the amount under it after your sum is shown all the other squares will flip over to expose the other amounts one must have one dollar or less to get more cash Okay, well, that's different. Soft game. Oh. All right. Members.aol.com slash soft comp. So I had Fun Soul and 97 and Fun Soul. Solitaire games. Funkard 95 and Funkard card game collection. And then we just looked at Fun Pock. Inside World, graphical role-playing game. Can I have a picture? That sounds interesting. Oh, the inside... We've seen that before, okay, I think. Inside World is a 256-color Windows role-playing game. Yeah, that was in a different category, I think. Easy... E... E... Ease art, E Z E A R T. I was like easier. Wait, no, it says a file viewer. I don't know how what the name is supposed to be then. Azirt file viewer allows one to view JPEG, GIF, 
bimp, pickix, tiga, pabum, and icons. No PNG. <laughs> uh, general information. Program can view all the file types. Files are viewable on the fly and can be scrolled. One can also delete and rename files from the viewer. One can choose to allow Azirt to recognize files for you and sort them by size, date, name, extension, or type. Except for the amount of file formats, there is no other differences between the shareware and professional versions. If any new features are added, they will be present in, in the your registered version. To use Azirt95, simply copy the files to a directory and add the icon to the Windows Program Manager. There are several icons included in the file to choose from. No changes are made to system files. A Pentium mouse, SVGA, and 4 megs of free memory. Free, uh, must, be, must be that RAM you downloaded. No charge. Are required to run Azirt. An Azirt.ini file is created in the Windows directory. Use virtual memory if your computer has 8 megs or less of memory. Special features. View all the file types. Delete and rename files. Automatic file type identification by the extension. I don't know. Super name type extension date or size. User configurable JPEG quality settings. View pictures on the fly. No need to open files individually. Recognizes pictures even without the correct extension. Ooh, fancy. Scroll very large pictures in their own window. <laughs> it's wild to think about living in 8 megs of RAM again. I got a computer sitting around here somewhere that's got... Well, it came with 8 megs of RAM. I think I actually scavenged some from a different machine and put them in there. I don't remember what that brought the total up to, though. It's been several years since that computer has been fired up. Well, let's close this out and move on to... Icon slot machine is an easy to use fun slot machine game for Windows. Eight ways to bet. Exchange the graphics with any icon you may have. Hours of fun. Windows. Sound mouse. No comma here. So is a sound mouse its own thing? It's like an even noisier mouse than usual. And you click on the buttons and it's like a really loud click. Or it makes like fart noises and something. I don't know. I come up with stupid jokes too often, don't I? Based off of typos and spelling errors and things like that. File not found. Okay, copy. Wait, no, I was on the correct drive. Windows, desktop. Copy to subdirectory, do it. If you tell me a laptop only has four gigabytes of RAM today, I immediately become allergic to it. Oh, I remember the, um, we had a Dell that I had four gigs of RAM installed in, but we could actually only use three gigs for some reason. Because it had, um, actually I, I later discovered it had a 64-bit processor in it, but I only had 32-bit Windows installed on it. I think possibly due to the weirdness with drivers at the time that we first got it. So I just kind of went with that. But then I was like, hey, wait a minute. And then I went ahead and installed the 64-bit uh, Windows on there, finally, so that we could use all of the RAM. I think it actually came with one gigabyte, and I maxed it out at four. Uh, right. I slot. Yep, sure enough, we got icon files. Got a Visual Basic extension, VBS, or VBX, rather. Wave files. Where's... Too many icons. Where's the exe? Okay. So there it is. Slot.exe. Icon slot machine requires registration if you wish to continue to use the program. The registration fee is nineteen ninety five plus postage. Copy serve member SW reg number. Do you want to print a reservation form? No. I mean, I wouldn't pay postage if it was an SW reg number, but I don't know. So let's just do click. Click on. All right, so we choose what pay lines we want to uh, bet on. Oh.
An interesting spin noise. And also, I just noticed out of the corner of my eye. Another another classic from Nissan Ventures. This might be the worst slot machine ever conceived by mankind. <laughs> I wish there was a way to combine Minesweeper with the slot machine. Hmm. We might need to ask Chat GPT about that. How could we how could we combine the two into a, a single composite game? Coin. Is it just playing that sound really fast? Oh, game over. You are have lost all your money. Would would like to play again, Y N. Yes, no. Uh n no. Do you really want to quit? Yes. Nineteen ninety five. Thank you, registration form. How big is this entire thing? Seventy four point nine kilobytes. So nineteen ninety five for seventy four point nine kilobytes. I mean, I guess you would have spent like $50 maybe on like Atari 2600 carts, and those are only like 2K. I don't know. Well, next we have Jerry's Car Poker. Yet another video poker game. Great sound, graphics, and hours of fun. Now you can win a car, bet $100, and draw a royal flush, and you win a toy model car. Void where prohibited by law. Requires Windows 3.1 or later. VGA graphics. One mega hard drive space. Toy model cars. Really? Off topic. Do I think ChatGPT is good at impersonation? I.e. if you wanted to get better at job interviews, do you think practicing with ChatGPT could be useful? Um... Let's see. Um, it seems to kind of handle asking it to write certain things in the style of like a given person. It kind of does pretty well at that sometimes. Um, I haven't tried using too many of like the jailbreak prompts to get it to specifically. Um, like I think for like conversational. Um, it kind of doesn't do so well at that. Um, there's like other bots that, like the one where we, uh, we were using before, where it was like talking to Bowser. Because ChatGPT will just like put way too much detail into something. Like you, you type in something, and then it puts all that extra stuff, and the reply just kind of goes on and on and on. Um, and it never wants to like commit to anything either. Where it's like this is one possible interpretation of this and that, and it's just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what they have in there. Um, like pre-prompt, like what they feed into it as their base rules. It would be very interesting to know what exactly they did to it. Because that's like the kind of stuff that you use the uh, jailbreak prompts to undo. It's like has all this stuff where it's like blah, 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 and so on and so forth um, in order to get it to do what you want it to do instead of what they want you to be able to do with it. And do I think with enough prompt tweaking you could get there? So, um, I know on the subreddit they had people constantly posting different variations of the jailbreak prompt. Um, I'd say, yeah, probably. You could get pretty close. I know at least with the iterative, iterative approach where you're like telling it, um, do something... Um, and then it comes back and you're like, okay, that's good. But could you make it a little bit more like this? And then it modifies it and then comes back. So it, um, it does pretty good with stuff. I don't know. Once they, once they make the model bigger, it's just going to have even more capabilities. Let's take a look at the car poker. File not found. Oh, another Nissan Ventures. Another one that refuses to work off of the CD. The desktop copy. There it is. Uh, card pog. 
Okay. Win a car. Bet $100. Draw real flush and you win a toy model car. Oh, this is why it's beeping at us, I guess. Draw. Hold. Uh. Bet max. Cards. Okay. Uh. Okay, hold the ace and the king. Uh, ten. Ten jack. King. Queen. Ace. Okay. Let's hang on to these. Get really lucky. No. You are bankrupt. I'll loan you another hundred dollars. Sure. Bit of. Next. Two, three, five, six, Jack. Uh, keep this. Excellent. Okay, uh, Kings. No, Jack are better. Holding tens is bad. It's Jack's or better payout. Well, I was trying for a straight. And we got ten. Actually, all of this. Kind of sucks. So this is hope for hope for another nine, maybe. No, nope. bankrupt. Loaned another hundred. King nine nine seven seven. Okay, two pair. Keep that. Up. Excellent. Win. Okay, well it's it's functional. It's got annoying. Bleepy sounds. Oh, it's a secret menu option. <laughs> now they wanted, to, they wanted a um, gap between these, so they just stuck a menu option with a whole bunch of spaces in it. Turn sound on and off. Oh, customized blow. Wow. Okay. Full name, address, city or province, zip code, email address, royal flush winner list. Oh, Jerry Thompson, Michael Lee. Tina DeCow, George Petch, Strange, where's the help file? There's a not. We're gonna quit, yeah. 995. Vendor.doc, catalog catalog.ry. Website.txt. CompuServe for uh, misadventures, home on the web. So I don't have like an actual help file on the game itself or any explanation of the winning the toy model car. I'll just move on. Joker's Wild Video Poker, the version 2.1. Joker's Wild Video Poker version 1.11s. Hmm. I might have to look at both of these briefly then, because it's not quite the same thing as some of these other ones where it's like um, same thing twice, and one of them is 195, and one is not. This first one is standard poker in a computerized format. Nice graphics with many features. Another one we got to install. Oh, Barefoot Productions. Another one to install to the root of the hard drive. Oh, please support the shareware concept and register this version of Video Poker. Thank you! Exclamation points. Homepage, read me, Video Poker. This program has been used one time. Please register this program. $10 and a completed registration form. So I'll send a registration code. Uh, not yet. Okay, start with 40 credits. Good game options. Whoa. Oh. Oh, <laughs> slider to select your card back. Alright, so we got uh, diagonal stripes. Kind of basic uh, green 
with a white stripe around the outside. Kind of fancy woven pattern. Video poker, the default. Origami of some kind. A bit weird looking. Little pinwheel. Moon over a mountain. Kind of night sky view. Hot air balloon. With some clouds. A ship anchor. Ooh. Crazy rainbow diamond um, thing. Half full or half empty gumball machine. Hmm. Watermelon. Not even trying to pretend to be anything other than a Coca-Cola can. Uh, purple ice cream. It'd be like grape. But then we have like actual green grapes um, right next to that. And a tomato. Hmm. Horizontal and vertical, vertical lines of different colors. Hmm. Strange. So this is like uh, four different colors here, but this little donut right here has been like cut out and rotated by 180 degrees. I'll go to back with um, different suits on it. Oh, <laughs> Barefoot Productions with footprints. Leave it on the gumball machine. Hit the bank. You get another $20 from your savings account with your ATM card. How much do we have in our savings account? The magic bank account that we can just keep doing this forever? I suppose. See, so Alt OH. Alt OH. Space bar. Could easily write an auto hotkey script to um, do that all day. <laughs> oh, and the tablet stopped working. But so we got um, it's so bad that they teach you to gamble on your credit card. Yeah. Yeah, and then the one with the ATM in it and everything. Such degens, yeah. Maybe they just wanted an accurate experience. Oh, getting a... Putting a donut in the machine and having it spit out a laser Dante. That's always a good... Um, I think we found out that the exchange rate, though, is not it's not one-to-one. -one. If you put a laser Dante in the machine, you get more than one donut out. So it's like they infinitely replicate... Let's see, put our coins in though. Ace two two three seven. Ooh, I'll keep the ace. Hit a pair. Payoff equals five coins. This one I have sound. Oh, it does have sound. Okay, sound is on a fast deal. Yeah, let's try a fast deal. Okay. Uh, I don't like what it gave me here. I'll keep this one. Oh, and good night, future Ash. I'll see ya around. Hit. Do, 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 do. Max coins. 10, 9, 7, 4, 3. That's junk. Try again. <laughs> nope, nothing better out of it that time. Ace, 2, 2, 4, 6. Joker. That's odd. Joker is like not usually included, is it? Or maybe it is. Interesting though. So, Department of Redundancy, Department, in addition to our coin, max, and deal. In this game menu, we have insert coin, bet max coins, deal. Here's where we keep our statistics. Joker Wild, always keep of course. VVB. Hmm. What else we got in game options? We had that. Oh, custom background color. All right. Wait. 
<laughs> oh, not completely cussed. Uh, so they use the dialog box. But they don't let you go in here and change your custom color. So it's like custom, but not completely custom. Ooh, fantastic. Magenta. Sound effects. Allow wild card. Oh, okay, so you can turn Joker on and off. Confirm exit. Jax or better. No, so if you turn that off... Um, all the other options are there, but not the one for Jax or better, I guess. How much is registration on this thing? Oh, that was right. Ten dollars. Hmm. Gets the job done, I suppose. Leave video poker. Yes. Not yet. Okay, so what about the other version of it? Joker's Wild Video Poker, realistic simulation of the poker machines found in casinos, 386 or higher, mouse or trackball, Windows 3.1 or higher. Okay, this looks different. This one's $12.95. This is completely different. So you got like two... Two different games from different people with the same name. Ah, uh, this is almost the good old ATM. So I'm gonna put myself in debt. Available credit 9900. Money comes out. We got 10 grand. Okay. But five. Uh, I don't really like. Keep the queen. Wait, no, that's how you get rid of cards. Crap. Okay. Bet. Ooh, Joker King. Okay, Ace. Um, Toss this. Good DJ always chases their losses. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. I wonder just how bad this can get, though. Because our current debt is 9900 So it probably has a limit to how much money you can have. Um... I wonder I wonder just how bad you can do on this. Interested enough to Okay. Again with multiple ways of doing things. Either hit bet five or put your coins in manually. Ace Queen King, yeah. Oops, no. Draw. Okay. Can't click on all. Oh. You can't click on the coins to take why are the coins yellow? Because they're like made out of gold instead of whatever they're made out of in real life. Preferences. Sound. Deal on bet five. Okay, so if you turn that off, then you have to still manually deal your cards after you've finished betting. Joker on or off. Double up on or off. Show stat box. Where does the stat box go down here? Oh, multiple card backs here as well. A spooky graveyard scene with a dead tree blocking part of the moon. Crazy test pattern off of like a TV station. Coins are made from the suffering of the working class. <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh, we got triangle patterns. Joker's wild. This is like another test pattern. So you could use this if you had like a high res monitor and you want to check your like convergence or something. I don't know. Uh, USA flag, slightly crooked. Or by I what I actually mean is like rotated 90 degrees. Because obviously it wouldn't work. Um <laughs> never mind. What is this? Complicated wavy. It's like rope wrapped around some pegs. Zigzaggy stripes. Kind of another fancy tile pattern. Okay, like a just a card. Another pattern. Lines. Yeah. It's interesting shapes. Oh, well, thank you, Sots, for telling me I need to drink weird soda. How close is that? Can I move my mouse pointer back? Peepsy. Oh, and donut telling me to have have some peepsy too. What is that at? Seventy four percent. Oh boy. Not too much longer before I gotta take a can of soda, put it in the car, and then drink it when it's hot. Gotta drink the soda. 
Yeah, yeah, and you know that the next step up after that is the Peepsy beef fizz. So that's probably what your true goal is, isn't it? You're just like, yeah, we just gotta we gotta get through the we gotta gotta get through those intermediate steps so we can get to it as quickly as possible. <laughs> Let's see. So this was the twelve ninety five one, right? Uh, yeah, twelve ninety five. So, registration form conveniently located in the help file. System is unable to change the printer settings, run control panel, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and lol, yes. Yeah, predictable, huh? Oh, well. Next at that, and we move on from two almost identically named programs, but distinct. Kino Casino. For Windows 95 and NT, learn to play Kino like a pro. Save and restore your tickets. Simulated Las Vegas Kino game. Now includes a ball frequency chart. <laughs> ball frequency chart. I understand the meaning of it. That's just an odd combination of words. It now includes 39 different casino payoffs. Play multi-race up to 1,000 games on one ticket. Kino sounds keep you informed of game action. Records the last 1,000 games and tickets played. This will install, yes. Your own fault frequency is measured in megahertz. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's in the audible spectrum, at least. It's not going to be any of that hypersonic or subsonic crap. Ah, uh, yes, the setup programs that had the low disk space indicators. But I swear, these balls are mathematically due. <laughs> yeah. Yes, launch the program file. Ooh. Note, this version of Kino Casino is unregistered. You have 21 days remaining to evaluate... Do you have your registration number? Uh, no. Oh yeah, I'm all amped up for some Kino. Let's go. Game open. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Um. Two, four, six, eight. Good luck. Game closed. <laughs> Anyone who's been hitting the balls knows it mega hurts. Last ball fifty-eight. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was the original joke, yeah. The pink and green is an interesting color scheme. Kind of a peachy Kino. And such is what well from a nap, okay? Yeah, everybody everybody needs naps sometimes. Oh. More than one. More than one Kino Midas. I wonder how many of those we have. We're down one dollar. Oh, I can reset. <laughs> You're ahead zero dollars. Wow, so easy. Get out of the debt. Only takes two clicks. Donut loves the voice reading the numbers. Because <laughs> you can tell it was just somebody counting from 1 to 100 or whatever. We gotta hear that 8. Is that gonna be on here somewhere? Where was this? There we go. Kino Casino 32 bit. Oh, it's still the same song. Because we just got the one Midas here. Wait, what is this? They put their... They put their start menu shortcut in a folder in the program folder. Eh. Uh, 
where are the okay cpos.kcd games.kcd somewhere in here they got these WAV files but they're in custom file format so we just have to get really lucky to hear it say 8 game open alright open a new game um good luck game oh close. I wanted to change the numbers Eight. Eight. Maybe we'll get lucky. Come on, say eight. Last ball, fifty-four. This is frustrating for everyone. <laughs> So, kind of technically, we got one, two, three. We got four eights out of that. And we also got the funny number. Nice. That's number one. Oh, oh no, I know I want to watch those clips again. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what show it was out of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on. Open. open. So, clicking on this stuff isn't doing anything anymore. Why? Cast. Uh, okay. Number of games. Okay, so you got up and down here for... Oh, what happens if you set this to 100? Does it, like, actually count out um, 100 sets of numbers? Is that kids in the hole, maybe? Hang on, let me look this up and look up number wang. Number wang... Da, 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 da. Oh right, Mitchell and Webb. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, number of spots or ways played: zero spot, price per game, one dollar, price per way. Okay. Clicky, 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 clicky. Come on, let's get his. Oh, you can bet in non-whole dollar amounts. Total price. There we go, three grand. That that ought to do. Remain indoors. <laughs> um, let's see. We're gonna play all the eights. There. And funny number. Good play. Luck. Game closed. How long is this gonna take? Forty-two, twenty-eight, seventy-nine, forty, twenty-two, seventy-seven, forty-six, twenty-one, fifty-three, ten, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, sixty-six, fifty, sixty, twelve, six, last ball, thirty-seven. This is frustrating for everyone. Game open. Game closed. Ninety-nine games to go. So it really just sit there all day going through all of these, huh? Hey, it said actual eight. Okay, that's it. We're we're a winner. Wait, print ticket. Save ticket, Kino Sounds, false game. Alright, exit. Do we have a registration number? Let's say we do. Ah, oh, it's one of these. Well, my name is Asdif, and my registration number is 1234. Validation failed. Okay. Hey, look at that. Coincidence? Kino and Lottery right next to each other. Lottery Wizard, version 0.3? Hmm, not even a whole version number. That's a rock and midis, though, yeah. Made it all worthwhile. Um, the chances of winning the lottery jackpot are 1 in 14 million. A lot of people must think, how can you predict the lottery? Surely it's just a selection of six random numbers out of 49. And every time they appear, they will be different. And there can be no possible pattern at all.
To a certain extent, they could be right, but the law of averages is a funny thing and can throw up some surprising results. Proof that patterns do exist. Going on the British lottery, which has just started, using previous results. Why is it that every time number 44 appears on a winning line one week, it appears the next week, also, then stops for a certain amount of weeks. Almost every time number 17 appears on a winning line, 42 also seems to appear. Using Lottery Wizard, you will find that there are many more instances of patterns which appear that can help you predict which numbers will come up next and dramatically increase your chances of winning the smaller prizes or even the jackpot. Using the Lottery Wizard program will give you a better chance than just picking random numbers and putting them on a pay slip. The wizard uses computer intelligent and past draw results to give the best possible chances of winning. The wizard can show you which numbers are hot and are due to come up, gambler's fallacy. Also, certain numbers tend to appear on... The same winning line with each other almost every time they appear. The wizard can tell you which numbers pair the most with which other numbers. Requires 486, SX25, VGA, Color Monitor, Graphics Card, DOS, 4 meg. 4 meg what? Hard drive space? RAM? Yeah. Ooh, DOS 4GW. Wow. Okay. Logo.exe, lottery.exe, wizard.bat. <laughs> Kalur. Yeah, you put a lot of cabbages. They're not from around here. Well, I just mentioned to close. I'll back it up a bit. At the very top here, they mentioned the... Uh, long, where was it? Where was it? Yeah. Yeah, they said, going on the British lottery, which has just started. So... That's kind of another another little clue there. So we're probably supposed to run the bat instead. Then it'll go through and run the logo and then the lottery, maybe? I don't know. Logo.exe, bad commander file name. Lottery.exe, bad commander file name. So I probably don't actually have to run the wizard.bat. I could just run the program separately. Let's start with logo then. Uh... We got a flash of something and then nothing. Okay, then uh, lottery.exe. Stub exec failed. DOS4GW.exe. No such file or directory. Mm, probably gonna have to copy this one. Windows desktop. Copy to subdirectory. There we go. Oh, there's more stuff in here than that. Got PCX files. Got a GIF file. A font? <laughs> no, not really a font file. Oh, British. <laughs> Just named British. Draws.lont. Okay. Ooh. Distributed by Barking Mad Software. Lottery Wizard shareware version. See readme.txt for instructions. 1996. Paul Dowers. Got mouse support in this program. Is it gonna? Oh, okay, there it goes. Ooh, okay. Winning numbers, add draws, check numbers, grouping, wheeling, number totals, enter numbers, edit numbers, stored draws, and options. Options are load draws, save draws, graph display, di displays, displays, quit program. Oh, that's a nice place to put that. <laughs> Reset numbers, info, or delete file. How do we? Oh, there's no back button. Wait, no, right. Okay, right click brought me back to here. Uh, winning numbers. One draw. Okay, 544, 28, 48, 16, 25. Using previous results, also added zero simulated draw. Top 12 numbers. 544, 28, 48, 16, 25, 45, 30, 43, 11, 14, 26. All right, then. So I wonder how big their database is. How many... Um, also, British software using like what's clearly supposed to be like US dollars. Maybe that was the only clipboard they could find. I don't know. 
But yeah, it's funny though. Um, rolls of tens instead of like rolls of hundreds or something that actually like makes sense. Highest totals, lowest totals. Okay, so that's options apparently. Multiple draws. Give me five of them. Enter. Okay, so like getting your quick pick numbers, I guess. I don't know whether I would trust the random number generator in this more or less than what you already get out of the quick pick box on the ticket anyway. There's the other problem too, like no, no option for, I mean, I guess they don't have, they probably have a specific number of numbers where that person was from and that was all they had at that point in time. But, you know, option to choose how many numbers you have and whether you have like a, um, power ball or mega ball and such would be nice. Reset numbers to reset all, reset all numbers. Are you sure? Yes. That's it. All, all numbers have been reset everywhere. Go find your number seven. It's completely different. It's been reset. Quit. Yes. They want registration for this or was this just a gift to the world? Nope, it's shareware. Has the save option disabled? You cannot save any draws you input into it. Okay, license agreement, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I want the registration information. I was going to say registration. If you win, or the, the, the registration is free, but if you win, you have to give me 75% of the winning amount. <laughs> Okay, shareware. Registration is 15 pounds. I don't remember what year they started doing Euro. I've been like way after this. Postage and packing UK, 75p. Europe, one pound. Rest of world, one pound, 50. I'll say, here we go. Please make check ways. Check use. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Interesting. It's like make your checks payable to break my Oh, here we go. Kings Road, Canton, Cardiff, CF one, ninety F, Wales, United Kingdom. All checks must be me may me be made out in pounds sterling and be cashable in any British bank. Ridding. We hope you enjoy this game as much as we enjoyed Ridding, W-R-I-T-T-I-N-G, it. Maybe Ridding is like knitting. Clamp his desktop a little bit. Yes, please delete all the stuff. So that was Lottery Wizard, but now we have Lucky Lotto. Let Lucky Lotto predict your lucky lotto numbers for you. Mm. Designed for lottery players who want help picking numbers, it gives a choice of three, five, or six numbers. Lucky Lotto randomly chooses number for you. Requires Windows 3.1 or Windows 95, developed by Arthur Grump. Another repeat name in the shareware scene. Got to install it first. One more Visual Basic. Ah, oh, that's right. Good old Visual Basic installer that won't let you run it if this is running. Also, how are we doing here, actually? Maybe make this be the last thing for tonight. Let me see, where's my... Or not. We're at 2 hours and 21 minutes. Hmm. See, so it'd be nice to, like, split this category in half... <laughs> but we actually haven't been going on that. Well, it is 1 a.m. Um, I don't know. It is tricky. I guess we'll keep going, because honestly, the next several categories are kind of tiny. Humor has five items in it. Language has seven items in it. But then you get back to miscellaneous, which has 49. So we could do that. We could have, like, gambling part two... Then humor and language all be in the same video. Oh, and what's the folder for this one? Where is, is it Lucky 
Lotto, Arthur, Cramp. Okay, yeah. Ambulance, I come for help. Always gets you. <laughs> Why don't we get some help? What did they have to say? Welcome to the Neon Publishing ROMCAT CD ROM catalog program, licensed to international software values. The ROMCAT Windows interface makes accessing the thousands of files on this CD quick and easy. You can easily read Windows help files, text, and documentation. Docu. Do, no. Docum. D O C U E M N T. Documentation files. Write and WordPad files and more. Remember that no matter where you are in the program, the F1 key will display context, sensitive help, and clicking the contents button will return you to this screen. Also take note of the information window at the bottom of the main screen. Most of the time, it will provide information on the next step to take. And they got a lot of um, categories on here. But anyway, I was wanting to copy this. This will make things easier. Copy this to desktop, then I can run the installer. Uh, uh, Windows. Let's remember to clean up the hard disk image again because it's got all sorts of junk on it. Oh no, I didn't click the thing to. Um, did not click the thing to put it in the folder. Oh well. Set up. All right. Lucky Lotto shareware version. Oh, featuring Comic Sans. Okay, so we got, uh, is this like the pond? No, it's just cherries, isn't it? So it's like the three balls signs that they have out in front of like pawn shops. Uh, weird matrix money, uh, blueberries, bells, and oranges. Start. Hmm. Okay. So you just get six numbers. Do it again. 12, 36, 34, 20, 27, 13. Again. 10, 20, 23, 34, 11, 12. Again. 4, 24, 35, 30, 18, and 6. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Options for three numbers, five numbers, or six numbers. Unusual Arthur Crump. Um catalog that isn't just a drop down menu with all of the different titles listed in it ah uh, yes ultimate bid whist i remember that i think we saw tonk as well actually i think we've probably already seen most of his stuff because sub-zero so no sound effects no let's see what the other number version friends look like okay five five that just hides one of them three you want to bet it's still rolling the numbers in the background. It just doesn't display them. 30, 16, and 38. 30, 16, 38. 30, 16, 38. Yep. <laughs> so that's literally all that does is it just hides some of the boxes so you can't see what the numbers are, but it still rolls all of them. All right. No, no midis even. How much does he want for this? Order the registered version and receive the full commercial version. Large selection of numbers. Well, there's infinitely many numbers. How large is your large selection of numbers? Latest version to order send ten dollars to AG Crump. <laughs> yeah, or or don't, you know. Back to the catalog, back to uh, gambling. Okay, so that was Lucky Lotto. Ah, uh, now back to another double feature. So we've got Lucky Stars Video Slots. We've seen this developer already. Uh, I'll find the Windows 95 version. Yeah, these are going to be the same thing, just one's for Windows 3.1 and one is for Windows 95. Yeah, once again with the, this isn't your grandmother's slot machine. This is a nine-wheel video slot machine with eight pay lines. Also has bonus spins, wild card symbol, and progressive bonus pool. See the beautiful graphics and animation. Uh, graphics and animation for yourself requires visual basic runtime. Hmm. 
And that is another another twenty dollars. Yeah, so they have twenty dollars for one program, thirty dollars for two, or thirty-five dollars for three. Can I register for later? Yep, exact same thing. Different art once again. Maybe the gameplay mechanics are slightly different between them. I really don't know. Ooh. Tick. Oh, I should have tried to double. Yes, double. Oh. This is the shareware version of Lucky Stars. The registered version includes a high low card game that allows you to double or lose your winnings. Yeah, exact same stuff. Option to change the coin denomination, which you can't do here because it's the shareware version. I still let you change the digit colors though. Black, cyan, green, purple, red, white, yellow. Good call, though, not including blue on there, so you could have impossible to read text, like blue on a blue background. Yep, same stuff. Pay lines on and off, banner on and off. It's easy to see why they were able to offer such amazing discounts of $25 when you order three copies of their program, since they're like the same thing. And the banner with the customizable banner text, spin speed, sound, bank, borrow, Ah, uh, I like the other company better with the simulated ATM. Going into a menu and just choosing to borrow a thousand dollars just kind of doesn't have the same um, impact. And then auto spin I can't use. What's their payoff chart look like? Stars, bars, watermelons, lightning bolts, apples, grapes, and cherries. This looks like they got single bar, double bar, and triple bar. What's this? We got a bonus pool. Stars add to the bonus pool. The pool will be increased by three times the current coin value for each star on the screen. All payoffs are based on coins bet on the winning line, not total coins in. Yeah. Oh, yes, and their registration screen, it's got a little pile of CDs just kind of sitting here. Quit. Close. Max hit. 1.1 The only way to play daily and regular lottery tests thousands of methods and uses real past results to select the top 10. Tests are based on prizes won, money won, or profit and loss. Results are remembered in a logbook showing cost, profit and loss, totals, pools of players, etc. Works automatically with easy button selections. The power is hidden in its simplicity. It includes over 150 USA and INT or national games. Spontaneously. Is it because USA was capitalized? They said INT also need to be capitalized. Or maybe maybe somebody wrote USA and INT. And somebody else came in and said nobody's going to know what INT means. And they added the er national onto it. Okay, load game, run game, update game, register, help, configure, import games, delete games. All right, uh, new, create a game, change a game, delete a game, finish, uh, create, STF, size, zero from 10, bonus, I don't know, five, can't actually change this. It's five from ten bonus. I don't know. Create. Create finish. Did that did that do anything? Help. Oh. Close that first before you can <laughs> click on this. Introduction. Welcome to Max Hit, a program designed to improve the odds of winning any of the common lottery systems in the world. This includes daily systems, pick three, pick four, and regular systems using five, six, or seven numbers with or without bonus slash Powerball numbers. Okay, so this one's more flexible than that other one. It includes all the other stuff that I mentioned when we were looking at the other one. 
The purpose of the program is to find the system that works best for your particular game and use this system for predicting. Thousands of systems can be tested and the best will be the one that won the most prizes or money in the past. And it keeps going and going and going and going. As a final note, we'll read that. Testing in max hit is not just a simple combination of random numbers tried on past draws, predictions. Yeah, max hit is a name I can believe in. Yeah, that's the. Let me see, the icon is. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to zoom in on it. I should I should modify a tablet software to always display emotes in full size. I think that would be more useful. Uh, predictions are calculated something something actually what I really want to know is how do you use this thing setup run set no that's not the kind of setup I was thinking of um, how to use getting familiar with the program use load game to select a game of your choice try different settings in the run game window to see what happens Use configure to put in the correct values or approximations for prize money divided by cost of one entry. And use what run game again with the top 10 type set to money one or profit and loss. Use update game to add draw numbers to the list. If you only, un if you only enter one set at a time, then you will see the results of the last prediction. You will also be able to select logs, money logs, to see how it is displayed. For experimenting, you can enter your own random numbers instead of the official numbers, but don't expect good results. The program uses the past machine-generated numbers, and these will have formed a pattern of strong and weak numbers for this machine. Oh. Maximize this because it's like the button is not in the right place. Suggestions for using the program. There's no way to tell in advance which systems are best for any game, so running all 84 groups is important initially. The program will automatically use the best system for future draws unless you change it. Then, use this system in future draws without rerunning system groups. If, after several draws, the graph at the right-hand side shows signs of deteriorating, then consider rerunning the system group containing this system. This is the number shown in brackets in the top 10 list. Use the best system from this one group, or use this system in future draws without rerunning system groups. If, after several draws, the graph... Is this like repeating the same crap over and over? What? I, I don't know. I'm going to try... Where is the thing? Load game. Uh, pick 457. Uh, list USA games? I don't know. I did absolutely nothing. Max. Oh, registration code. No. Hit. Oh, that's how you That's how you register? Continue. No, I didn't like that. Okay. I don't know. We'd have to, like, read this whole um, long-winded documentation just to even begin to understand how to use that one. Noisy Poker and BJ. <laughs> blackjack. But yeah, Noisy Video Blackjack for Win95 is a simulation of the coin-operated video blackjack machines in casinos. You choose how many coins to wager, and whether to stand, hit, double down, split pairs, buy insurance, etc. In this version, the dealer must stand on a hard 17 or higher, and hit on a soft 17. Blackjack and insurance pays 2 to 1. You can double down on a 9, 10, or 11. You can split pairs. Noisy Video Poker for Windows is a very fun and very beautiful simulation of the video poker machines you find in casinos. Included are Jacks or Better, Jokers Wild, and Deuces Wild versions of the program. Besides very realistic sounds like coins dropping into a metal tray, just like at the casinos, there are a variety of wacky sounds that play randomly when you don't have a winning hand. These sounds really add to the entertainment value of this program, but what really sets this game apart from others is the graphics and user interface. You can play this game with a minimum of mouse clicks, which allows you to play really fast. And the cards! Unlike a lot of other poker games you may have seen, the cards in this game look completely real! Windows 95. Is this run or do we have to install it? Oh, another WinZip setup. Hmm. Taking its time. Okay. 
Install, please. Yep. The latest from Ultimate Software. Okay, you can register for only $20. Registered version includes uh, three poker games. Jacks are better, Joker's Wild, and Deuce is Wild. The registered version of Noisy Video Blackjack allows you to split pairs and buy insurance. Registered version of both games give you unlimited credits, lets you save your playing stats, lets you turn the sound on and off. More sounds and all the shareware reminders and advertisements are removed. For only $5 more, that's a total of $25, just in case nobody knows how math works, you can get the registered versions of both Noisy Video Poker and Noisy Video Blackjack. That's a $15 savings off the cost of buying the game separately. Each game costs $20 when purchased individually. Special offer! Triple exclamation point! Right? Yeah, triple. <laughs> Eyes are getting blurry. Get the registered versions of both Noisy Video Poker and Blackjack, as well as the registered version of the popular Real Video Poker and Real Video Blackjack for only $30. The Real Video Games are the most realistic video poker and blackjack games available, just like the Video Poker and Blackjack Machines founded casinos. That's two different poker programs and two blackjack games for only $30. Yeah, registered later. Or never. This is the shareware version. You can evaluate it for 30 days. Da, 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 da. How do we run it? Maybe we click on it, huh? Let's start with noisy video poker. Okay. Jacks are better. Joker wild. Deuces wilds. Uh, jacks are better. Okay. Switch is not available. Switch is not available. Okay, it's finally. All right, um, it's two pair. I'm keeping those. Uh, the draw. Two pair pays four, and these again just look like the standard. I guess I don't think I have the. Yeah, I do not. Well, if I could launch regular Windows 95 Solitaire, you'd basically see that this is like totally the exact same art from that. So, <laughs> oh wait, what happened here? Look at this seven uh, up here, but Jack down here. Like one of those magic trick cards, huh? Where you show the show the show the cards and then you wave it around and then magically one of the cards changes to something else all right back to menu noisy video blackjack okay nine and jack uh 19 yeah i'll stand oh or the dealer just <laughs> wins by one point uh Get 12, uh, get 16, uh, also 18, and no. Do Such wacky sounds. It's like a, the audience is now deaf situation. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're not kidding when they say noisy. Okay, so that's the only... Oh, and it says over here, click on cards to start. Yep, and there's our pile of CDs again. Quit and close. Oh, back to slots again. Patriot slots, version 1.11s. Try your luck against the one arm bandit. You can bet up to three coins on $1 to $100 machines. Rocket symbols shoot to the pay line when above or below it. An ATM is provided for all your banking needs. Start a savings account or get casino credit. Okay, so this is another one from... Um, uh, right, Lampron Software. Patriot. How much do you change here? Okay, we can go to the $100 one. All right, it means we can blow all our money even faster. Let's see, continue. Take out a credit. Nine, nine, oh, oh, enter. There we go. 
Bit max. All right. Sound effects that only come out one side for some reason. What did I get here? Eighty-seven, eighty-seven, eighty-seven. That was Patriot Wild. Wait, no, two white sevens in it. Oh, so we're so our very first spin, we're getting um, 600 coins out of the thing. Is that what's going on here? Oh, and I guess that right there is a rocket symbol there um, talking about. So I think that mechanic kind of reminds me of, what's the real name? Uh, Haywire? I think it's the name of the real slot machine. Some of the symbols had like these electricity bolts on them, and if they landed off the pay line, the thing would go and slide them up to be on the pay line instead. Oh, okay. I don't know if that, yeah, okay, what's this? Oh, right, blank, blank, blank. Any, any one, Patriot, any two, Patriot, any, any, any. It's like their pay table is long enough that it scrolls up and down, but they have this graphic down here, which if that weren't there, they could display the, int or they could have just made that smaller, you know, have the full, the full pay table and have a smaller rocket or maybe not. Maybe that's like vitally important. Oh, I can pay off. Let's, let's, let's do that. Let's try paying off the debt and actually depositing some money. Worker payment. Nine, nine, zero, zero. Okay, another transaction, yes. Let's deposit the $59,800 we made. Five, nine, eight, zero, zero. Enter. Or did I type in something wrong? We still have... I don't know. Okay, I guess that was right. I don't know. Okay, you are running low on cash. Try a less expensive machine. Take a trip to the ATM or start a new game. We'll just quit while we're ahead. 12.95. Is he better priced than that other company? And includes the ATM. I think it's a winning combination. Poker Face. Classic card game with a computer opponent and dazzling graphics. For the beginning and advanced player, learn poker for the first time or brush up on your existing game. Requires Windows 3.1 or Windows 95. Developed by oh, Arthur Crump. It's going to complain, isn't it? Yep. Visual Basic. Windows desktop. I wonder what the I wonder what the steps are for changing the desktop folder on Windows ninety five. Is there a registry key? Or does it not even allow you to do that? So I definitely make it like C colon backslash excl exclamation point or something like that for the purposes of um doing the shareware nights that would make things easier. Oh, and I just put the files on the desktop again. Probably. Poker face. Okay, close close that. Run that. Install. Complete. Nice. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, not novice. Order the registered version and receive the expert level, save and restore games, and the latest version, $10. Okay, so that's your difficulty selector then. Pass. Select cards to throw away or pass. Okay, so that's how that one works. Um, 
I'm going to throw away that and keep the ace. Throw. Congratulations, you won the hand with one pair. Okay. Um, keep the ace in the king. Throw. Congratulations, you won the hand with one pair. Oh, I don't like the cards this time. Five, six, eight, and nine. Uh, give me new cards. The dealer won with one pair. Yep, they got jacks. Cut kind of card backs. All right, we've seen this before. The space shuttle, the snowflake, the earth from like space and this strange color pattern. It's a functional game. Didn't say how much registration was. About, I was right, $10, okay. Put on my desktop. Da, 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 da. So I was gambling. Poker face. Okay. Poker squares. Version 2.04. A solitaire card game for Windows. Slick implementation of the classic solitaire where you try to form the best poker hands on the rows, columns, and diagonals of a 5x5 grid. Features sound, music, full game statistics, and three-level undo. Poker Squares Solitaire requires Windows 3.1 or later and a mouse. The game will run from a floppy disk, but a hard drive is recommended. If you want to hear the sound effects and background music, midi, ooh, midis, you'll need a sound card. Okay. Can we just run it? Oh, it's a setup. I'll run from a floppy disk. But it's a setup program. I guess you could install it on a floppy if you want to. Do we want to view the text file? Nah. Solitaire. Hey! <laughs> the return of the sexy solitaire. <laughs> Alright, how much? No, let's, let's look at it first. Okay, so... F uh, um, new hand. How does this work? Seven. Oh, Jack. Ten. Eight. I see. Is that like a pig noise? It's like oink, oink, oink. I don't care, just, oops, I wanted that up there. Would you like to play another hand? Oh. <laughs> That's basically it, so you, no dragging, dropping of cards, you just click where you want the card to go and it immediately teleports there. So you're basically forming... Actually, it's almost kind of magic square or su not Sudoku-ish. Basically got like, let's see, 10, 11, 12. So 12 different uh, hands basically at the same time. So you got uh, rows, columns, and the two diagonals. And each one of these is scored based upon... The Midas was suddenly making me think of the Sega Genesis game, Columns. I do not want to play again. Oh, well, we get to hear that one more time. Skynet. Oh, no. Oh. Registration form. Okay. Poker Squares is $10. Apparently, they also made Mount Sunflower for $10. Chinese Solitaire for $10. Four Seasons for $10. Solitaire Suite for $15. Simple Pleasures for $15. And Pyramid Deluxe for $15. It's in the latest version on disc, two dollars. Does this change anything? No, it doesn't. 
So a total of $87, but if you get everything all at once, you get a $30 multi-registration discount for a total of $57 for two, four, six, seven items. Close that. Okay. Close, close. Power, how much is left here? Power play slots. Okay, so that's the same thing in Windows 95 and non-Windows 95 versions. Real video blackjack also looks like um, Windows 95 and non. Real video poker 95 and non. Uh, where was it? Okay, power play slots 95 version 1.1. A Windows 95 slot machine game, a three wheel, five pay line slot game with the largest slot symbols you've ever seen. Includes fun bonus features, 256 color graphics, and realistic sounds. Beautiful spinning animation. 32 bit works with Windows 95 and NT. Does it just run? So that's, whoa. Okay, another one from Ultisoft. $20 registration. Uh, possibly the ugliest graphics that we've seen yet. Interesting, though. Power play, what is it's like four things plugged into like a, um, a power strip, some keyboards, floppy disks. You can get behind three and a half inch floppies. Color monitor. This power play symbol, is that what's filling up the power picket meter here, which is now at 20%? Okay. I kind of want to know what happens when that gets full, but I also kind of don't at the same time. Okay, yeah. Yes, it's definitely power play that fills up the power picket. I don't know if that's them abbreviating per I guess that's them abbreviating percent. But why? Maybe this font they're using doesn't have a percent sign, so they're just like, well, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to compromise. It's filling up pretty quickly. We'll probably have to see what happens when it fills up after all. Oh yeah, what is our options real quick? Background. Okay, so tiled bitmap or solid color. Um, I feel like this would look... Hmm, well... Oh, there's multiple options. Background one, okay, that was the one it started with. Background two, um... Is this a wooden fence or something? Or is it like that? Oh, it's like that fake wood paneling that you had on light like, walls. Power 144. That's probably not supposed to be used as a background. Power 192, or that either. Power 96, yeah. I think these are all like the art for the reels. <laughs> And just throw it all in the same folder. Slot spin and lose. Okay, yeah. Just keep spinning and see what happens when the power picket gets full. Power drain. Don't do it. Oh, 
Ooh. <laughs> We're down to 30. Well, that's how they get you, huh? You want to see what it does when it gets full, but then they have something that takes it away. Two, back to 50, maybe? power drain. Come on. Nah. 25. All right. Nah. Ain't gonna put up with that. It looks out of that. Now we skip the um, Windows 3.1 version of that. And now we're on real video blackjack. A blackjack game for Windows 95, the most realistic video blackjack game available. Digitized sounds, beautiful card designs, they look real. And ease of play make this game a real winner. Now with really big cards. Queries Visual Basic, not in zip file. I'm sure we're good. Shareware, 30 days, $20. You know the drill. But for only five dollars more, you can also get a registered version of Real Video Poker. So yeah, same company had both their Real series and their Noisy series. Click on cards to begin. Well, that, that sounds pretty noisy to me as well. But it says place a bet. Um, max bet. So eight, eight, I'm gonna hit 18, uh, stand. I won. I don't see any difference between this and the noisy variety. Eight. Eight, indeed. We got our eight going on. Let's look through here and find, um, okay. Noisy poker and blackjack. Let's have them both open at the same time. Just kind of compare them. Okay, we got hide some of these. So this one's real. This one is noisy. I mean, it's, okay, there are differences. They change the color. Now it's got all these buttons up the side. First one just has like the. I guess it's got more sounds to it. Bitmax. Push. Push what? I don't know, that just means I don't win anything. Push again. 20, okay, oh. Split, oh, you can't do that because it's Eight. shareware. Eight. Oh yeah. So it's got So real has like all the same sound effects as noisy, but noisy has more sound. What does this mode button do? Whoa. The large mode is for registered users only. However, you can test the large mode for 60 seconds at a time. After 60 seconds, the game will return to small mode. Registration is $20. Registered version lets you stay in large card mode for as long as you wish. It also lets you bet up to 10 credits per hand and allows you to split pairs. If you register with a credit card over the phone or by fax or email, we'll give you a code which can make the shareware version instantly become registered. Yeah, that's some big cards, but but I see I see pixels here. I think they just took the regular cards and blew them up. Uh huh. That's that's it. They just so they don't have high resolution card art. They just have the double. Uh, double-sized regular stuff. I'll quit. Quit again. We'll quit. Continue quitting. Menu. Quit. 
quit. Okay. Real Video Poker 95, version 4.5. Real Video Poker 95. A video poker game for Windows 95. Probably the most realistic video poker game available. We've heard that a few times before, I think. Digitized sounds. Beautiful card designs. They look real. And Oh, it's them again. Yeah, all right. Let's just get right to it. RPV. So cute. $20. $20 special offer. Yeah. Uh, register later. Jacks are better. Joker wild. Deuce is wild. Yep. Next bet. Hold the king, the queen. Uh, where's the button? Draw. Nope. Do it again. 10, 8, 7, 2, 8. Uh, all I only want is the ace. Two pair. It looks so real, I know. Even the blue background. <laughs> the sound of the cards slapping on the table. Uh, and the wee when you win everything it's i can't i can't believe my eyes is this is this the real um world <laughs> is it's just fantasy i don't know exit uh, i mean it's a bargain for only 20 dollars or whatever the heck it said <laughs> uh okay different company sage blackjack simulator it's got Sage Video Poker Simulator, but this is Sage Blackjack Simulator. This is a shareware program with animated graphics, sound effects, and background music. It can simulate the house rules of most casinos in the world. Up to seven players may play at the same time. Any seat can be unplayed, played by the user, or played by the computer. A random shuffle is used to shuffle the cards. I mean, I, I hope so. Um, it's not much of a shuffle if it's not random. From one to eight decks, no, one to eight deck games can be specified. The minimum bet, maximum bet, and shuffling point can all be defined by the user. Also, various statistics such as current bankroll, largest bankroll, smallest bankroll, winnings, number of rounds played, and more are kept. We can just run this without installing. Illegal function call. Again. Oh, that crashed the launcher. Uh, da, 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 sage blackjack. All right, then run the run the setup. Then that's a different installer. Successful. Okay, nice. Ooh, Midas. Dealer must draw to 16 and stand on all 17s. Insurance pays 2 to 1. Blackjack plays 3 to 2. Oh, the Midas does not perpetuate into the gameplay. Disappointing. Let's see. Um... Start game. Oh, okay. Different Midas in game. The table minimum is five dollars. The table maximum is one thousand dollars. Player four bets twenty-five dollars. Sure, why not? Actually, no. How much does he have? Oh, it's okay. Go all in. Right, king and two, uh, hit 21. Okay. Help. Oh, bet dialog box. The bet dialog box is automatically displayed at the beginning of each round when the user is the player of a seat and either no betting strategy is defined on the seat settings dialog box or prompt user is selected on the bet strategy dialog box. 
This dialog box allows the user to place his initial bet before each round of play. The table minimum and the table maximum bet sizes are defined in the game options dialog box. The player's bet size must be within this range. If the user does not want to be prompted for the bet before each round, he can he can specify a betting strategy other than prompt user on the bet strategy dialog box. The user can define the amount of money that the up arrow and down arrow increments or decrements in the bet field by defining a betting unit on the bet strategy dialog box. Is it, whoa. <laughs> okay, this is long and complicated. Do one more bet. So the dealer hands are kind of interesting. All right, eight. Eight! Gonna hit. Eleven. Hit. Twenty-one. All right, three thousand dollars. That sounds good to me. Oh wait, sound effects. Sounds pretty even on. Sound effect me. Oh yes, the... Is this by the same developer as that other one? The shuffle noises sounded like the same ripping tape off noise. 12, I'm gonna hit. 17, oh... Uh, follow the dealer's rules and I'll stand. 26, dealer bust. Oh, these noises. All right, we'll take our $4,000 and call this a win. But first, I want to take a look at the betting. Oh. Okay. Um, number of decks, maximum bet, minimum bet. Yep. Shuffle point. After every round, after a fraction of cards remaining, or after zero cards remaining. Okay. Dynamics. Okay, so dynamics is the speed of the graphics, apparently. House rules? Oh, split based on value or based on index. Double down, got options for that. Oh, dealer peaks. Dealer peaks under 10, under ace and 10, under ace or no peak. We get potatoed here for a second. Get rid of that. Okay. Allow double down after splitting. Allow double down on soft hands. Allow double down on any number of cards. Dealer hits soft 17. Allow resplitting of aces. Or allow drawing display aces around surrender on any number of cards. Six cards automatic winner for player. Players lose ties. Player back blackjack automatic winner. Dealer's whole card dealt face up. Dealer takes no whole card. Number of splits, one, two, three, or infinite. Okay, so yeah, they got, they got lots of options. What's in music settings? Uh, okay, just the two. Okay, so they got Beethoven and they got Mozart for their... Oh, this one only lets you pick five midas. The other one went all the way up to eight. Because maybe technology that sophisticated just hadn't been developed yet as of that point in time. Seat settings. Okay, so computer user unplayed, bank roll, and the playing strategy or the betting strategy. Oh boy. Hard hands, soft hands, pair hands. Whoa. Okay, this is complicated, huh? Let's get this whole. Whoa! So we got this matrix here, player's hand and dealer shows, and then every single one of these you get to choose um, action one or action two. Same thing for soft hands. Parent, yeah. This is a lot of this is a lot of customization. Betting strategy, betting unit, so flat betting or prompt user. 
Never ensure, always ensure a prompt user. Oops. And I get to play one more time. 14, hit 24, ah, uh, crap. Well, we have to kiss that $1,000 goodbye. Uh, this is quite sophisticated. How much is the registration? Registration info. Okay, it's the shower version. Sage Black Snake Simulator. Oh, this is long. <laughs> so what they have Sage Blackjack Simulator unregistered, Sage Blackjack Simulator, and then Sage Blackjack, which is not a simulator? I don't know. It's the top of the line as far as blackjack programs go. It's designed to teach the user winning blackjack strategies and can also be used to test and even create them. I'm not reading all that. Barraging Barriers, a challenging multi-level maze game. What, do they not say how much registration is? I'm skimming and I'm not seeing a dollar sign nowhere. Okay, registration form. Okay, so Sage Blackjack Simulator is $10. Sage Blackjack is $35. And then Barraging Barriers is $5. Ooh, option of five and a quarter inch floppies. Oh, they were located in Huntsville, Alabama. Interesting. Shareware survey. How did this product come to your attention? From a shareware vendor, from our website, from a BBS, from a friend, or other, please specify. I guess this counts as a shareware vendor, maybe? Uh, ISV. Let me close this down. We got another Sage Pro. <laughs> Okay, the Windows 3.1 sound. We got Sage Video Poker Simulator. This is a shareware program which can simulate a draw poker game. No wild cards. It has realistic sound effects, great graphics, and user-definable payout tables, and probably Midas, because the other one did. Statistics of the different types of hands the player has gotten during the play are kept. Oh, that's everything. Okay. I'm going to tempt fate. I'm going to go ahead and install this one. Oh, warning. Could not copy file vpoker.exe. Errors have occurred during installation. Does it work? Okay, it still works. Oh, this program has been used two times. Not yet. Joker Wild Video Poker. Oh. Leave. Not yet. Um. Like the same file names for both of these, so it couldn't install properly. Illegal function call. All right, let's dive in and try to locate it. Wingham Gam, is that it? Yes. This was Sage. Oh, I might need the assistance of the catalog to see what the folder name is. Gambling. Sage Video Poker. Poker 1. All right. Poker 1. Poker.exe is not a valid Win32 application. Um, let's call it the vPoker2 then, instead of vPoker1. Okay. Make sure it's links to the right thing. vPoker2, vPoker.exe. Okay, good. Ooh, that's fancy. 
Royal Flush. Oh, not 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 the greatest though. Black black text on a very dark red background for the buttons. Sound on. This one does not have the midis. Okay, uh, Betmax. Keep the king. Ah. Uh, Uh, ooh, aces. Keep them. Winner pair five. Bitmax. Uh, having one pair is not an keep ace and king. Deal. Uh, queen jack five, seven, nine. Ooh, this is kind of all bad. Keep with my cards. And give me king. Okay, winner pair five. <laughs> Oops. Oh, wait. Winner two pair. You get two beeps for that one. Beep beep. <laughs> well, that's interesting. What's in the. Whoa, okay. More complicated um, programming for the um, options here. So just to draw poker in this one, I guess. Register for Joker's Wild and Deuce's Wild. Payout, flat, flat top or progressive, type of play, standard or tournament, preset games. Game one, game two. Definition. Huh. Four of a kind, composed of any card, the specified card below, the two specified cards below, or the three specified cards below. Oh, this is, this is wonky. <laughs> So three separate columns here, depending on which one of these you activate or you select, it activates the individual columns so you can choose what you want. I mean, I guess it works. And four of a kind has kind of same thing going on. What about pair jacks and up? Pair composed of tens and higher, jacks and higher, queens and higher, kings and higher, aces, or wild card and anything. No, the Windows 95 button. Uh, good morning, Nintendo. Yep, we're on the we're on the uh, gambling category of the pink CD tonight. Woo! And found some games here that are quite complicated in the setup that that you do like this. You can you can customize the payout table for all of the options in this uh, video poker. It's like redefine all the stuff. And it's got beeps and boops and stuff. So do that. Also shoops as well. Keep the jack deal. Got nothing. Try to win one more time. Keep the jack. Actually, we got a pair here already. Let's keep that too and see if we get really lucky. Nope. Okay. One more time. Queen. Nothing. Ooh, three. Three of a kind. I'll keep that. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> three beeps for three of a kind. But yeah, the uh, black text on the um, dark red buttons, though, is kind of... Actually, that reminds me of the copy protection sheet for the MS-DOS version of... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the one by Konami. Because I had this dark red sheet of paper with black ink on it. The idea being that if you were to place it on a photocopier and copy it, it would just spit out a solid black sheet of paper. But if you looked at it just right, you could read the numbers off of it in order to get your game to play. <laughs> yeah, interesting. So I wonder what the registration is for this. Registration. Right, I have to open a registration form. So if you want Sage Video Poker Simulator, that's this one, then that is $10. If you want Sage Video Poker, 
their more sophisticated product. That one is $25. I don't know if they had a shareware version of that one. It would be interesting to see what the differences are. Available again on five and a quarter inch floppies. Okay, yeah, we're good, thanks. Yeah, we're closing out, though. How about that? Maybe we could go ahead and make it through after all. Finish off the whole gambling category in one go. Now we have a Stuker slot. A exciting stud. Oh, so like stud poker. So it's not it's not Stuker. It's it's Stucker for stud poker. Exciting stud poker slot game for everyone to learn and play. Stucker slot offers a new way for the poker player and slot player from beginner to high roller to play poker. Select your bet and the number of card decks in use, and then the fun begins. See? There's a space in there. Fun begins. Windows Sound Card VGA Display. Oh, software edge if you got CompuServe. Go ahead and run this thing. SSP. Path or file access error. All right, we got to copy it to the hard drive. Because some of them are like that. See, when you're programming, you open a file. You have to specify whether you're opening the file to read from it or write to it. But you can also specify um, all. So you can either read from the file or write to it. So that gets the job done, but if you're only reading from the file, um, it's not going to work if it's on a CD because you can't write back to like a regular CD. All right. Stucker slot. Shower version. Played for one day out of 30. It's got the crazy cycling cards here. Uh, it's Bitmax. Okay. Out. Also from Nissan Ventures. And it seems very consistent tonight that everything from Nissan Ventures has this large um, text that gets chopped off on both sides. I don't know if that's just a problem with um, installation of Windows that I have in the PC emulator or what. So what exactly do we have going on here? Do we have three? Oh, wait, no, it's a slot. That's right, it's a slot machine. Bitmax. Excellent. Okay, so these cycle out, and whatever you've bet on, if it comes out to a poker hand, then it wins. Excellent. 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 Can you run out of money? Ex Ex yeah. Excellent. Ex I had like a stream of good luck there Excellent. for a moment, but now it's like, no, no, we're going to keep all your money now. So. Excellent. Yeah. We need, is it, where is that? Is that on the, is that in there? Yes. Win.wav. Excellent. We could probably borrow that for later as well. But we got to hear the sexy solitaire again, which I eventually want to add as a redeem. But I want to do an animated card bouncing along the screen and leaving a trail behind if you redeem that. So uh, got to get that taken care of. Nice. Yeah. It's a number of decks. We've got options from one to three. Wager from anywhere from 25 cents up to $5. Game rules. Oh, okay. That's not like an option or anything. Oh, and we got 75% complete on the hot peepsy. Thank you for your points, and that's going to be happening, huh? <laughs> but of course it is, because if we run out of time, I'm going to pull a b-boy and extend the time limit on it. So that keeps going until the peepsy is hot. So I said game rules are very simple. Using the option menu, select number of decks of cards used each play. Using the option menu, select your base wage from $0.25 cents to $5. By clicking the button to the left of each row of cards, you can place a bet to a max of 10 bets per row. You can use 
you can use the max button if you wish to play the most each time. All right. Um, click on play slash draw to activate the slots. If you are using the max, your play is automatic. Right, so payout. Okay, so it's got all the um, ratios here for what you get. 250 to 1 for Royal Flush. Shareware notice. So this magnificent program is 1995. Wow. Yeah. I wonder if anybody bought it. Maybe they tried it and they just immediately fell in love with it. And they're just like, nope, I gotta, gotta keep playing the gotta playing the snucker slots all day, every day. Uh, okay, now we have Tomatic for Windows 1.0. A poker solitaire card game based on the popular dice game Yahtzee and the card game poker. Muttley Player. The Dick Dastardly and Muttley? Not spelled like that, but... So I guess that means if you're playing, you gotta do that... <laughs> Laugh. I score. Or actually, no. He doesn't sound like that. He's got like the wheezy. You know what? I haven't watched Wacky Races in a very, very, very long time. I remember it was a early morning um, program. What was it called? Like the Mad Scientists Fun Club or something like that. And it had like a Mr. Wizard knockoff guy that he did science experiments and then played old cartoons. And I think that was the first time I ever saw a... Uh, actually saw a Wacky Races episode. So Muttley player, high score, easy to play, sound card supported. But is there Midas? I've had quite a few Midas tonight. Up, oh, more Nissan Ventures. Oh, this thing doesn't remember what folder it is. Could be. Blink, flap, money, shuffle. Tamatic. Oh, okay. Tamatic. Tamatic. So they did include something to. Um, Tell you the name of that one, but not so for Ducker. This is probably also going to be 1995, right? It's Tamatic. Taking a Tamatic, taking a guess. Okay, so. Tamatic. Draw. Okay. 9, 10. Jack and King. Ooh. So we'll keep the face cards and roll everything else. Queen, Queen, Jack, King. Okay. So yeah. Um, is this actually anything? Is there? Okay, there's a chance. Chance. Cards are used at face value to. Grant points, anything will do, sure. Eight, eight, king, four, three. Uh, oh, and you have options for by um, suite as well. I have three hearts here, let's take hearts. Don't really want to go through a full game of this, but we get the idea. It's it's like poker Yahtzee. Which actually isn't really that much different from regular Yahtzee, really, just that you have the actual cards, so that actually would make this even harder to score on, since you'd have um, kind of fewer options available to you. But yeah, interesting idea. Still with the CompuServe hosted website on that one. Did this have registration or what? Catalog. Help. Yeah, that's right. And we can't print. 
Okay, so I guess it'll remain a mystery what registration is in this one. Let's order that rye. Does order that rye have it? Okay, that was Tematic. Yep, also 1995. It's actually a really good guess, but they also had a lot of stuff that was 995, so that was always a possibility. Oh, Money Pigs, I remember that out of the um, educational category. That was the one where, like, two or three of the wave files were screwed up. So it was like 25. <laughs> and it was in the wave itself, so every single time it played it, it was messed up. Okay. Ultimate Bid Whist. There are many variations of the game of Bid Whist. Ultimate Bid Whist is one variation. While classical Bid Whist is played with four players, this is a two-handed Windows version with a human player playing against a computer opponent. Each player is dealt 12 cards. The human player is allowed the first bid or pass. The player who wins the bid also wins the six-card kitty. The player then chooses six cards from either the kitty or their hand to throw away. I always throw away in quotes. I mean, they could have just said discard too. Bid whist is played with both the jokers. If you're playing uptown, the big joker is the highest card in the trump suite, followed by the little joker. If you're playing downtown, the big joker is the lowest card in the trump suite, followed by the little joker. The goal of bid whist is to obtain a score of plus seven or force your opponent to score negative seven. Points are made by bidding on the number of books or winning hands you feel you will be able to turn above the first six books. So we've totally seen this before. Um, do they actually have it listed twice on here? Is it also in the card game category? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we actually have not seen this before. Or it could have been on a different CD too. We got like the uh, the ROM tech stuff, so it could have been there. Sneak a quick peek at it anyway. Oh. What's his name? Arthur, Arthur Crump again? Windows, desktop, copy, and copy. This is why I need like a database of every single one of these games. It'd be cool have go on there, look up a specific game, and then it would link you to the video and the timestamp where it's covered. Yeah, this is definitely okay. New game, Peter. I don't know. Uh, four books, Uptown, Diamonds, Computer Passes. Pick six cards to go away. I don't know. Oop. Okay, you just click them and they're just gone. Um, ace. Three. Nine. Oh, small joker. Big joker. Uh, king. Okay. Uh, I guess kind of like Uno, maybe. That one person plays a card and you have to play um play matching card so five i play eight that means i get that one okay yeah player lost bid by negative four do you want to play again no Registered version gets the expert level and the four player version, and it's only ten dollars. Again, with the usual mint, oh, dirty spade, or no, dirty hearts, dirty hearts, infinite spades. Oh, yes, and pity pat. That was, um, that was a video splitting point. It was like the last game covered from whichever category it was in. So 
too many Windows Explorer folders. Or Explorer Windows. Windows, no, I'll keep that one because I can double click on the CD to get back to the program. Arthur Crump's Dirty Arts Club Band. <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember the exact, um, exact name of it. On YouTube, there's like a, a TTS parody album. Um, is it Sgt. Pepper's Thirsty Hearts Club brand? So, um, there's like another one too. I can't remember the name of the other one. But basically, so if you find it and look it up, it's amusing anyway, at the very least. Oh, back to Lotto again. Universal Lotto Selector. This program's purpose is to generate a or to generate random lotto numbers. It can be tailored to select numbers for any style of lotto, pools, or powerball draw. You can select between three to twelve random numbers from a total of three to eighty numbers for up to fifteen games at a time, making it truly universal. It also contains a favorite number function, which allows you to increase the incidence of a specific number being drawn in a group of games. And it contains a probability calculator, enabling the user to calculate the odds of correctly selecting X number of balls from a total of Y balls. The program can also be used to generate random trifecta, quadrilla, and superfecta selections. Hmm. Unilot. Run to mirror 75, path file access error. It's like, yeah, let's just see this, everybody, is why keeping your configuration files in the same folder as your binary is actually a bad idea. Uh, could be just to copy. It's like, and everybody is kind of kind of thinks like app data and, and all that is annoying sometimes, but it does mean that if you run the thing from a read-only location, it can still write its data to a sensible place. Unilot. This program is shareware, not freeware. You may use it free for 30 days to evaluate its performance. However, usage beyond the 30-day trial period requires it to be registered. Lotto Selector. This program will be distributed freely in its unaltered, unregistered original form. This message will not appear once registered. Okay. Right, so number of games. I don't know, I'm just, one is good. Actually, no, we have... Let's do all 15. Yeah, 15. And pick... Um, actually, we're going to go with the limit. We're going to go with the limits. Out of 12 numbers from a total of... 80 numbers. Okay. Draw style. Normal, each ball drawn only once. Or bonus slash power ball. Last ball is from a new batch. We'll do normal. Factor in favorite number? Yes. Eight. Draw. All right, I'm not reading all of these numbers out loud, but the first one, we got 36, 73, 53, 31, 79, 66, 49, 68, 3, 33, 54, and 6. But I am going to skim these to see if 8 came up anywhere. Yes. Number seven has an eight. And number ten also has an eight. And twelve. Eight. Thirteen. Eight. And but that's all. Probability calculator. Probability of selecting what's that you do? 99 winning lotto numbers in any order from a total of 99 possible numbers is... Calculate. Calculate? It's blue text fields. Blue text fields? What's blue about them? Press calculate. Oh. I guess it doesn't not like that. About 10 numbers out of 100. Calculate. It's not working. Um, no, 20. Probability of 
picking three numbers out of 20. Calculate. Okay, finally we got something. 1140 to 1. Okay, uh, list numbers in order drawn or from lowest to highest. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't change the pre-existing results. You gotta do it again. Oh, that makes it easier to find that we got one, eight, two, eight, three, eight, four, eight, and five, eight. What if eight was not our favorite number? We got one. Yeah, without the favorite number factor, we just got a single eight. Oh, today's lucky number? Your lucky number for the day is 20. Is it still the same? 24. Oh, it's different every time we do it. 33. Four. I mean, I guess that's handy if you need multiple lucky numbers, but... What's this load up? What? Open this and then drag this into it. 5, 25, 28, 23. Okay, so there's a lotto file with today's date in it. All right, registration info. Okay, $10 US or $12 Australian. Wait, registering legally entitles the user to continue using the software after the trial period expires and helps me to put food on the table for myself, my 11 children, my three ex-wives, my two mistresses, three dogs, four cats, and it helps to keep my canary in brand name bird seed. He hates the generic brand. <laughs> uh, I want to know what percentage of this is accurate. <laughs> Does he actually have... All of that to deal with? Hmm. Well. Alright, not a whole lot left on here. But now we have wild seven slots in both. Make sure these are the same thing. Yes, they are. Okay. Well, actually one requires the Visual Basic 3 runtime, and the other one requires the Visual Basic 4 runtime. I might actually want to sneak a peek at both of these. Bird, yeah. Do me so far, do me. <laughs> Need some more Star Tropics at some point, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh well. Wild Seven Slots, though, is. Wait. Okay. Wild Seven Slots 95 V1.1 Windows 95 Slot Machine Game. Three slot machine games in one. Wild Seven, Joker, and Casino Slots. 256 color graphics and funny sounds. Beautiful spinning animation. Five wheels and five pay lines. And then this is where it branches off a little bit. One wants the one DLL, one wants the other. So we'll sneak a peek. And this one, $20. Okay. Just for later. Wild Sevens? Oh my. That's like um, <laughs> uh, CGA colors almost. Like the magenta, the yellow, and the cyan. Actually, no, it's like printer ink. It's a mess. Anyway, Bitmax. Okay, on winning spins, you have the option of going to one of the three bonus games. If you choose to go to a bonus game, you will risk your winnings from the current spin. Depending on the bonus game selected, you can increase your winnings by several times, or you could lose your current winnings. Select the game on the right to which you want to play, or you can skip the bonus game by clicking on the button that says skip the bonus game. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Depending on your preference, you can adjust the bonus game setting to always, never, or ask. Look under the options menu on the main screen. Magic Pyramid, that sounds new and different. 
Find any of the numbered boxes below, you could win. Double, triple, or even five um, uh, uh pin, Pintuple? Yeah, pintuple your bet. Uh, there are also hints that help you find the pintuple multiplier, as well as bombs that cost you your bet. Good luck. Mm. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so you're not like starting at the top and working your way down. I guess it does say click on any of the boxes. Well, bet max. Ooh. At least in Minesweeper, properly coded versions of Minesweeper, the first click is always safe. You're not going to hit the mine. Uh, horse race. I see. Ooh, um... I'll go with the... <laughs> go with the safe option, which apparently wasn't that safe after all. Well, that went on two different lines. Okay, we'll try the let it ride. Payoffs on the left are based on your wager. The higher the wager, the higher the payoff. Best payoff is a Royal Flush, which page 500 times your wager. This is a let it ride poker. So as you continue to play, you must bet the full amount possible. You can quit and take your winnings at any time by clicking on the OK button. All right, deal. Um, wait, which, okay, so this one's being held and these ones are being discarded, draw, yep, there goes all my money again, <laughs> okay, I can borrow, just like in the other games in this series, free CD, yeah, display, Oh, as options for four six forty by four eighty or eight hundred by six hundred. Okay. I mean, resizable uh, windows are always preferable, but you know that takes effort. Again, there's the option for the digit. Which digits does that actually change? It's set to green right now. Purple. Okay, so it's just the wager and the credits that get changed by that. Payout. Oh, 90%, 95%, 100%, 105%, or 110%. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Let's see. I mean, I guess he would still lose... Oh, this is the shareware version of Wild 7's slot. In the registered version, you can adjust the payoff percentage. In the shareware version, the payoff percentage is fixed at 95%. Sound effects, no midis, speed... Turn this down to slow. Let's see what slow looks like. Ooh. That wouldn't be so bad if it spun it more slowly, but with like a high frame rate so it's smoothly scrolled. Switch game. Because we also had Joker slots. Oh. Can try any of the three games. Wait. Only Wild 7s is more or less fully functioning. The game you selected works normally, except you cannot collect any winnings. Please do try this game so you can see what it looks like and to see if you like it. You will probably want to spend more time playing the Wild 7s game than the other two games because in the Wild 7s game you can keep your winnings. I'm going to see what it looks like anyway. Okay, and I've forgotten the name of it already. It's just like that other one from Nissan Adventures, that's a good bonus game, where it's slot machine, but it's uh, poker hands across the lines instead of uh, anything normal. All right, casino slots, what's this one? Oh. 
Okay. So the symbols are like horse racing, roulette, poker chips, um, cards. We got numbers. I can't really. I think it says wild. We got a single pair of dice. Not quite what I was thinking when it says casino slots. It's where like the actual slot symbols are what's casino themed. Okay, we'll back out of that. And then we're going to sneak a quick peek at the older version of it. Okay, so definitely the same thing, just different visual basic version, different operating system. Wild wizard slots. All right. So since this one was the same on both, I'm assuming this is the same thing on both. Wild wizard slots, 95, version 1.1, Windows 95. Slot machine game, a three-wheel, five-payline slot game with the largest slot symbols you've ever seen. Includes fun bonus features, 256 color graphics and realistic sounds. Beautiful spinning animation. We've heard that a few times already. 32-bit works with Windows 95 and NT. Ooh, okay. $20 registration. Uh, wild. Okay. Well, the wild wizard wild symbol is different. Ox. I see. Box. So you want to get box on the line for some reason? Okay, so I got one B and one O. So there's gonna be a symbol on here that takes your blocks away from you, huh? Got two of each, three of each. What's gonna happen when I finally get an X? <laughs> Pink rabbit. Is that? I think that's Castle from Disneyland, or at least a cropped off version of it. Let me look up a picture real quick. Uh, let's see. So, Florida Castle is Cinderella's Castle. Um, so, California Castle is uh, Sleeping Beauty? I don't know. Let's search for Disneyland Castle. Oh yeah, that is definitely. Then like the pink color for the top part of it, the blue roof. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's keep trying to get a X letter box. Oh, and that's what we're missing. We're missing the Xbox. Okay, we got one. Seven, seven, seven pays. Oh, so if you get seven of each kind of box before you get 20 spins, then you get the bottom jackpot. Otherwise, you only get the top jackpot instead. Yeah, because I can see the spins counter going up. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so same as ever. Option between the bitmap for the background or a solid color. So be like, I don't like these stars. Just give me a black. You can do that. Okay, yeah, here's this interface again for borrowing money. <laughs> Can't borrow or pay back 
Wait, is that where the registration was? $20 registration. All right, well, that was wild. Wizard slots exits. Win a lotto. Oh boy, another lottery one. If you're ready for a serious lottery program, Win a Lotto is the one for you. The shower version is fully operational. See, there's a space there and everything. And includes several wheeling systems and lottery databases. Sports EGA, VGA, SVGA, 386 Plus, Sound Blaster, Windows, Windows 3.1, and Windows 95. Released April 10, 1996, version 2.1. Um, oh, just a weird setup program. <laughs> Brought to you by Fixed It! Exclamation point software. Welcome to Win a Lotto. Okay, so they got. Oh, and it says million, doesn't it? But it's hard to read. They got million dollar bills for the um, wallpaper in the program. Create ticket file. Use wheeling table. Love numbers, 34 tickets. Prize guaranteed. Five out of six. If six. Numbers to wheel 11. Number of tickets, 34. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'd have to read through the help file to understand words mentioning of any of this. We'll go with this one, why not? Okay. Choose 14 more numbers. Uh, hot. No database selected. Oh, you have not selected a historical database? This may be done from the history menu. Okay, then quick pick. Okay. 14 number okay um e yes and now what it's giving me five tickets with some numbers okay so you have to go in and enter in what the winning numbers were oh and you put in the okay one two three four five six um, sure. Like, this is at all likely to happen. Wait, no, simulate lotto. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. So it only selects the ones that you haven't already selected. Oh, tri-state checkboxes. You don't see that very often. So you get checkboxes where it's either unchecked, checked, or gray. I'm not sure what that means. If they're gray on this, we'll simulate. Okay, there's our numbers. Okay. So these two quick picks got one out of six numbers, but the other three got zero. Bonus number? History databases. Oh, sound or no sound. I mean, it's interesting, but <laughs> randomness is random. It's kind of, especially now, because I, I think I was specifically watching a video on the saying that they actually don't even. Um, they don't even do the thing with the ping pong balls anymore um, for determining the lottery numbers because that's too easy to screw around with. So they have like a cryptographically secure server that's locked down tighter than Fort Knox, and that's what actually generates the numbers for the lottery now in a lot of places. Okay, so you want to register this. You make out a check to Don Turner for $20. And then you mail in your form and check to Capshaw, Alabama. Oh, so we have multiple people from Alabama. Wow, wait, which program was the other person from Alabama? 
If that was one of the other lottery programs, that's funny that you'd have multiple lottery programs coming out of the same state, um, but from like different cities. Let's quit. Remember to mail in your registration form. Find shareware products like Win a Lotto. Rely on your support. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Let's go to the uh, target real quick. No database selected. Incompatible database. Please re enter date. <laughs> Welcome to Win a Lotto. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so all their sound effects are in a single wave file. Let's see here. So the entire program is 0 0.97 megabytes, and the wave is 188 kilobytes. I just want to see whether or not the sound effects took up more space than the actual program. In this case, they do not. Clean up the desktop. Yes. All right, I think it's going to be the last one for tonight. Because we're all done. We did it. We did the whole gambling category. Uh, but now it's time for win craps. Is a complete craps game for Windows, including superior graphics, clean, uncluttered layout, sound that uses a sound card or PC speaker, a comprehensive help file equivalent to buying a book on craps, plays easily with mouse and or keyboard, highly configurable game elements, odds allowed up to 999 times. Unique tools for learning craps contains all the bets found on major craps tables, auto rolling, auto betting, and more. Also, every single one of these sentences ends with an exclamation point. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, there's other punctuation out there. You don't have to, <laughs> don't have to rely on just the one. Okay, another WinZip extractor. So that's the entire category. That means we just have two programs for craps. So there's this one and there's the other one. One more, whoop. Oh boy, um, okay. Cancel. Can we do this? Can we launch this? It's so nice and convenient though, how the final thing of the category is a visual basic thing. So that way we can just close the launcher, do the install, and be all done for the night. What? Visual Basic application is still running, but I closed it. What is it? Okay, let's see. Uh, system, send control, delete. Ooh, ultimate bid whist didn't go away. In task. Aha, okay. So we closed that one, but it didn't want to die. Wincraps installation complete. Sneaky bidwist, yeah. It's too bad this isn't like modern task manager, so we couldn't tell whether it was using up 100% CPU or not, too. Wincraps, ooh. Okay. CompuServe, AOL, Internet. Oh, wait, so this means that they would have had a subscription to CompuServe and a subscription to AOL? No, wait, no. Because CompuServe one. Okay. So if you're on CompuServe, you could just type in CLD, CTY, soft. But if you're not on CompuServe, then you send it to them at CompuServe.com. I don't know. Email worked kind of weird way back when. Speaking of working weird, why isn't the tablet... I don't have a display no chat anymore. Is this thing connected to Wi-Fi? Yes, it is. I 
that suddenly doesn't want to work. So <laughs> if you say anything, I'll see it over here. Um, okay, so 30 day evaluation. This doesn't say anything about the registration fee on here. Coming out. Okay. Well, this definitely looks um, nicer than the interface for the other one. How does this work? Do we? Okay, so you click on that. Don't come bar? You may not make a don't come bet until a point is established. Uh, you make an odds bet here until you've established a don't come eight bet. Uh, pass line? Whatever. Next bet here, 2,000, bit. Okay, fine. We'll go for it. And I click on this. No. Server stop responding. Yeah, that's weird. Off. Interesting. Bye. Oh. oh, okay. Uh... Nine. Wait, where where's the word file for that? Clear C. Where did this one go to install the root or what? Wincraps. Program files? Wincraps. Maybe we could this one. I've read a lot of phonics. Poker. I have to clean all this up. But we got stuff stacked on top of each other. Arrange my name. Windcrafts. Arrange my name again. Hmm. We have win. STK CHP simple one log. Well, let's just launch the sound recorder and see if any of these things are actually WAV files. No? Okay, CHP. Thunder dot win. Shooters coming out. Hard. Push the don't. Take the line. Pay the line. Take the don't. Please keep your hands off the house money. <laughs> okay, so they have lots of different file extensions here for things that are all um All right, dot win. All right, way to go, shooter! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want the I want the wave file that just played a second ago. Please keep your hands off the house money. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wait. Eight. Eight. Holy crap! Eight. 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 Hang on, where? Eight. Eight, but not. Oh, what happened to that? Uh oh. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do it with money. Let's take it. Please keep your hands off the house money. Please keep your hands off the house money. Okay, so these are my chips, and these are their chips. Please keep your hands off the house money. Where's our configure? Pay the line. Take the don't. Stick person. Dice. Chips. Win. Okay, win. Okay, so it's a selection of sounds. So cheers. So there's one person going boo when everybody else is clapping and cheering.
<laughs> that was what I wanted to hear. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and the different. Oh, okay. Actually, that makes sense now. So that's what the file extension is doing. So this is scanning. So for Win, it's scanning for .win files. For Chips, it's scanning for .chp files. For Dice, it's scanning. Where is it? DCE files. And the STK files are for your stick person. Pay the line. Take the don't. So we got Steen. Pay the line. Take the don't. Oh my goodness. Candy. <laughs> Pay the line. Take the don't. Hmm. All right. Um. So I'm probably going to rename all of these for Candy. I'm going to rename them from STK to um, Dot Wave and dump them on the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> this is um meme worthy. Eight. <laughs> All right. Uh we've got options for uh, different sprites for the chips. Different colors of dice. Oh look at this, we've got crazy rainbow dice down here. Purple. Blue, white, red. The red. We got odds Eight. allowed. Eight. I guess we need to listen to everybody's eight, don't we? Open target. See, so I go closing things, and I'm like, oh, wait, actually, you know what? We need to. Sound recorder. Okay, I want. I just do eight. Yeah, I think so. Sample eight dot log. No, that's not. That's not playable. Okay. Amber. Eight. Steen. Eight. Candy. Eight. <laughs> we'll have to listen to that a few dozen more times before I become immune to it, huh? Okay. Close that. Close that. Close that. So, adjustable odds allowed, odds calculation, auto select, X flat with minor push, X flat with color push, X flat single odds, flat single odds, X notices, actions not allowed, betting limits reached, charges and or change, auto bet messages, and don't pass, don't come of bar 2 or bar 12. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of Things that I don't understand, but if I played craps, I would understand. Return. This is a solid software package. How much is it? Nineteen ninety-five. Not bad then. Twenty percent discount on orders of two or more. Yes, I want a disc. Includes shipping and handling. Okay. Three and a half. One point four four megabyte discs are standard. If you would like another size, please enter a comment in the box at the bottom of the screen. Tell me one on Commodore 64 floppies. <laughs> You'd be like, what? 8.6% sales tax for Washington residents. No Discover American Express, just Visa and MasterCard. I don't blame them. Do I want to save? No. Oh, look at this. Two icons. One on the side of the dialog box, one on the side of the dialog box. 